was only on the first one. The first she's known as not being good. She's not being good. Does that help? You're welcome. Uh, we never lost connection on the game. We were, you were in the middle of a sit down and get comfy cutscene. Oh no, do you have to go through it all again? Oh, you get to enjoy it again, right? Or you can just wait and watch it on uh, my stream. Because you don't want to. Okay, I'm gonna go get the food. What should I eat though? I, I, so my options, make a salad. Like I have a bag salad, I'm gonna add some chicken to it. Uh, just make a quick bagel with cream cheese. Or three, I don't think cheese bagels are really good either. <laughs> we'll use this one. Three, it, the third option is to get some pepperoni sticks and some cheese crackers. Or crackers. Rude, I know. What do you guys think I should eat? I can't decide. You should probably skip through that game. What do you think I should eat? <laughs> Salad, bagel, or crackers and uh, some and some crackers. That's kind of what I like to get out of it. I'm gonna go grab that. I'll be back in a few minutes with like some fruit or dessert. Now I'm gonna have a bunch of chicken and cream cheese. I'm gonna make those chicken and cream cheese. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna throw on um, my be right back screen and I will be back in maybe closer to five minutes. Um, Terry can go get that because I have some chicken and cream cheese that I can make later. Oh, my other option is crackers and uh, brie. But I feel like that's kind of gross. Anyways, I can get some veggies in a minute though. I should I should make some veggies. <laughs> oh, bless you. Both glad am I to see the awakening stories of anger and stress no more. Yeah, me too. Shola, why didn't you trust yourself? Hmm, yes, tis still you. My apologies. I realized too late that the ether emanating from the tower was distorting my my perception, which was likely a temporary effect. But I remain wary. No. It wasn't distorting your perception. You knew. Uh, sh Shola, I don't understand. No apologies necessary. Least of all to me. Yeah, if, if anyone would understand it, thanks. If anything, there's a strange comfort in knowing I'm no longer the only one who has been boosted with the Hokey Puppet. But I pray you'll be the last to know. <laughs> Thanks, Nico. Um, can I go talk to Emily? Yeah, sure. You're certain you're well? Nothing out of place? No missing bits? Good, so I won't promise the same thing as Nanny and Tina said, or I'm going to promise it. How much these people must these people suffer before they're satisfied? So many cruel, pointless tricks must they play. Frey leaves his final days with a note. This ends now. All right. Um, I'm actually going to go take a quick three-minute break because uh, I'm in no mood to drive to the store. So uh, this drive is bonkers. So I will be back. Are you kidding me? <laughs> May your graceful prancing lead the way to victory. I dare say your fancy work may be all but made up for being us next turn. Magni too. Uh, 
Good morning. Hello to winter. How's it going? I feel like I'm like not where am I supposed to be? Move me over. There we go. It's a little bit better. Although my, I feel like my. Hold on a second. I feel like the camera's like migrated over. Just uh, so my title's slightly a lie, because it says I'm level 90, but I'm pretty sure I'm still in 89 quest. But I think I'm close. So I wanted to bump it up to 90 just for a little difference. But before I go back to where I was, I have some mail. I wonder what that could be. You're about to get level 90 minor? Dang. You guys are so fast. Uh, do you see the congestion thing? Oh, I did not see that. That's pretty cool. I mean, is there a least congested server? <laughs> I feel like they're all bad, and eventually they'll all just be full. So we got a Death Scythe for Reaper, um, Arian Horn Mount. What is this one? And Wind Up Porum. Oh yeah, because I had the other, the other one. I don't know what these things are from, but oh, the, there's a pair, and now I have the pair. All right, what is this mount? What does it look like? Where is it? A horse with wings. F of five or four, you can't remember. Do you see my, I feel like I'm wearing like a robe. I have a lovely, lovely velvet. Um, it's actually a onesie. Uh, it's pretty comfortable. But I just got it. Did I get it yesterday? No, I got it two days ago. I was supposed to have more clothes come yesterday, and they didn't show up, so hopefully they show up today. I ordered them on Black Friday. Or around Black Friday. During a Black Friday sale. <laughs> Whether it was on <laughs> Black Friday or not, who knows. Alright, I need to go to a place in Ultima Thus. The boat of the Ia, yeah, yeah. This is where we're going. Now I can do non-spoilery stuff. Or, or spoilery stuff. Last night's spoiler-free stream was not very successful. <laughs> Being not spoilery. But. Uh, the extreme trial mounts are cool. What are they? What are they? I know, I spoiled things because I'm, I'm bad at not spoiling. Because you were very vague, yeah. I, I was bad at it. Lynxes. Alright. How are they different from wolves? I guess lynx are cats, right? Wolves are dogs. So that's the difference. I have never felt such emptiness. It's as if part of me is gone. Oh yeah, because we just lost. Oh, and Winter, you said you agreed with me that you didn't understand why Uriange did the thing that he did. Yeah, I just, I don't get it. I'm fine, Ari. Like I said, our quest doesn't end here. Like, I'm, I'm confused whether he was just like, I want to go, let me go. Or if he was like, I know Yishtola is going to go, and I'm going to go with her. Like, But also, because Astinian sacrificed him so we could go on, and I was like, okay, so we're going to have to sacrifice more than one scion. Like, I was not surprised by that. Um, yeah, you thought he was going to go instead of Yishtola. Yeah, I thought it was a waste to, use two, to lose two at once. Like, why? There, we didn't need it. We didn't need to. Like, it, it was no... Yes, I, I got that we were going to have to sacrifice scions. After Astinian went and Thancred, I was like, okay, well, we're going to have to keep sacrificing them to go on. So I was just like, okay, I guess we're going to end up sacrificing probably all of them to get to the end. And like at the end, we'll be like, well, hopefully we don't need any more sacrifices because if I have to sacrifice myself, I think we're screwed. <laughs> and then we'd find a way to bring them all back. But then when Uriange was like, oh, let me go too. I'm like, no, no, Uriange, we might need you later. We might need you to sacrifice yourself later. If you're so ready to sacrifice yourself, that's fine. But we might need you to do it later. Can you just stick around a little bit longer? <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> it just, it felt like a waste. It felt like a waste. Oh, we're going to lose two people now for no reason. Well, thanks. Also, don't really get, um, maybe that one was strong enough that it needed, to, but it didn't. He told us ahead of time he was going to do it. He just seemed like he had his mindset on sacrificing himself, and so he's like, oh, oh, now's the time to sacrifice? Okay, I'm going. 
Even though your shoulder's already going, I'm going. <laughs> Uh, you don't know a further explanation. Maybe you show his feelings not being enough to help us or something could have been done. Oh, all the cool... I know. Like, I just... Honestly, I don't really understand what he told us when he pulled us aside. Like, to be honest, I don't know what he was trying to tell us. Like, I just don't get it. Um, He was trying to tell us something, but I just... I didn't follow. Like, he was, he was vague enough. I feel like... I feel like sometimes, sometimes they beat you over the head with stuff, and I'm like, okay, thank you for explaining this that I figured out. And other times I'm like, I don't get what's going on. Can you just, like, spell it out really clearly for me? And they're like, nope, all you get is vague shit. And I'm just like, what? What the, what the hell just happened? <laughs> I don't understand. And that was one of those moments. Uri Ange was just being vague as hell, and I did not understand what he was doing. And then I'm not sure, I think I kind of spaced out a little bit when he was given his spiel as he was sacrificing himself with his Chola. I kind of just felt like, because Elstinian disappeared pretty quickly, right? And obviously Thancred went just like that when we all were like knocked out. Um, and Uriange was just talking. I'm like, I swear, it's just going to poof in the middle of this conversation. He's going to be trying to get out like this big spiel and they're just going to like poof and disappear in the middle of his long conversation. <laughs> Kind of took me out of the moment a little bit, but I don't, I don't know if I'm on board. Like, I don't feel sad that they're gone because I don't feel fully, I don't feel like they're gone yet. The same with, I went back. So when I was redoing, um, you wanted him to use rescue to move his stole out of it and sacrifice. Yeah, something, something. Oh, I think this is, yeah, this guy just hit level 90. Let me cheer him on. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, f I don't feel like they're gone. We've been told they're not gone. We've been told their souls still exist. Um, then until their souls are gone, they're not fully gone. We had Yashola tell us not to save her, but like, when do we ever listen to that? People tell us not to save them all the time. And we're like, no, fuck that shit. We're going to save your ass. We will find a way to do both. I will, <laughs> and Clay was all like, oh, are you going to sacrifice a Theris to save them? No, of course not. There's going to be a way to do both, clearly. Otherwise, there is going to be sad. But, um, yeah, getting, <laughs> well, <laughs> we have a spaceship now. I don't, <laughs> I don't know how long that spaceship's going to last, but no, I would not, uh, I would not, um, sacrifice them for a Theris, because then we have... They would not want that. They would just be mad at me for that. Let's take you out of this The other thing I thought of, I was like, oh, oh, do maybe we have to get rid of the older Scion so we can have a time jump and like Alice and Alphano will grow up and Graha will just be like, I don't know, like five years older, which will basically look the same. Um, but the, the older ones, like they would have to like look older and they didn't know how to do that animation. So they're like, let's just kill them off. <laughs> um, that's my thoughts. We'll see what happens. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Anyways, maybe I should continue continue on with the MSQ after my uh, spiel about how I don't think they're dead and I'm not sad about it. I'm sure if we have a scene where they are in fact dead, that they will give me time to be emotional. Because I felt like them leaving, like it just, it didn't have the emotional impact that it should have had um, if they were gone for good. So, like, when Harshafont died, we knew he was gone. When Yasel died, we knew she was gone. When Papalimo died, we knew he was gone. Uh, who else have we lost? <laughs> like, but we knew it at the moment. We're like, okay, this is it. That's it for them. There's no coming. I don't know that these guys are gone. I don't know it. So, we shall move on. But yes, onward. Onwards. <laughs> Graha, what say you? Victory something something lo lost. Graha regards his comrades in solemn silence. Like, these guys are sad. I'm not that sad yet. Are you all ready to continue on? I do still have my box of Kleenex, though, so if there are tears, I'm ready. <laughs> Oof. Why are they flinging dust at me? It's not dusty, it's just like tissue paper. 
bits. All right, then let's make for where the light shone. Yishola and Uriange have opened the way for us. Yeah, they opened a way. Those Kleenex are for tears. Okay. Wait, what are you trying to say, Winter? <laughs> uh, there's a cat under my feet. Oh, that just reminds me when I was at my sister's, when I was like, there's a cat under my feet. And then I was like, oh, there's a cat under my feet because he hadn't come out yet. <laughs> And it was amazing. So my goal is after this week with a lot of Final Fantasy and after my Tuesday where I have to work all night, I want to seriously try to get a kitten. But I feel stressed out about this. It seems to be not so easy to get a kitten because like I want to like adopt one from a shelter, but then you got to do all the forms and stuff and blah, blah, blah. And like you can't always really go see them because of COVID shit. It's just annoying. But then, like, my other option is, like, Kijiji, and I feel like they're all, like, sketchy scams. I just want a kitten. Why is this so hard? I just want a kitten to come into my life like Arthas did, where we found him by the side of the road, and we're just like, okay, well, this is my cat now. Done. <laughs> Some manner of Ia device. If our friends awakened it, then it should be safe to use. If you say so. Judging by the direction, this should be the place. Yes, I can feel it. The ether emanating from the arcane pattern. This is a portal, no mistake. Let us see where it leads. The portal of wisdom. Oh. Am I going to learn wisdom? I discovered a new location. Um, are there still... It's so far to the south. Where is it? Oh, that's not south. That way is south. Okay. That's fine. This reminds me of Omega. He had these things. Is Omega here? Not holy. Pass through the portal and wait for your comrades. Well, I got attacked. Continue to wait. Are they not coming? I mean, I need somebody to give me quests, though. I cannot be alone. Did I lose the rest of them now? Oh, there you are. God, I was getting nervous, guys. This is the part where I was like, bright side is I have less conversations. <laughs> that is fair. That is fair. There was a part where like, when all the scions were, like right before we left, when all the scions were there and there was like so many people seeing us off, I was just like, there's like 20 people here I have to talk to. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Winter, are you saying though that you actually talked to all the NPCs? Didn't you used to skip cutscenes and now you're just like, let's talk to everyone? How far you've come. I'm proud of you. I'm so proud of you, Winter. <laughs> I've changed. <laughs> Turns out you made a lot of friends. I know, that wasn't even like, that was just like a fraction of all our friends too. Uh, amazing, yet another civilization. Yeah, Omega civilization. This is awfully like Omega. I'm gonna say that right. Attacked as soon as you arrive. Not the most welcoming of places, is it? Omega? Omega. We must try to find the Denzians who are amenable to conversation. Omega? We should also get the lay of the land, see how far we can go. I'll help Elfino with that. In the meantime, you and Graha can search for Omega? Friendlier folk. Omega? Apart from hostile beings, take care with your footing. I mislike the look of this ter terrain. 
Not knowing what the locals are like, you'd best take care of yourselves. We will find you once we finish exploring. I don't know that splitting up is the best idea, but uh, sure. It's not my choice. Oh, the twins go off together? I, I, I also have this feeling that Uriange and Yishtola going together sets the stage for Alphano and Alice going together. Because no way they'd go separately. They gotta go together. I expect the twins will seek the outermost bounds of the isle, so I propose we search the center area. I mean, shouldn't we have planned this with them before they left? So we don't search the same areas. <laughs> there are machines patrolling here and there, sentinels in all likelihood. Like those you encounter, they will certainly attack any who venture too close. Let us avoid them, and look for the others others that appear more approachable. Okay. Oh, my destination is like literally two feet away. Well then. There's an ether. Oh, there it is. I see it. I see the current. Hopefully this doesn't take me to a cutscene that poofs me somewhere. You see not but patro machine, patrolling machines in the area that do not seem inclined to non-violent intercourse. Okay. I'm going to go get this ether current before I go too much further. Good grief. I don't want to attack these things. Can I not aggro them? <gasps> Look at me being all stealthy and stuff. Oh, hey, look, there's another ether right down here. All right, how many more do I have in this area? Oh, still a lot, okay. And I still, I need to finish the quest in Alpha's, but I've got everything else. South East, that's not that far either. Okay, well, let's go back here. Don't aggro me, don't aggro. Oh, so stealthy. Oh, that guy uh, made a friend. Okay. Oh god, there's two of them. Oh god, they just got wrecked. Alright, well, let's leave. Uh... Wow, that one died so easily. A size and Dia, and it was just done. <laughs> Oh, did this, oh this, was this guy helping me? Was that why I died so quickly? I'll thank him. Oh, he's coming back. He waved to me. Alright. <laughs> Let me ride around on my sheep. Alright, where are we? Oh, striking dummies. Wait, why do I? Oh, wait, I want to see what... Uh, here, hold on a second. No, not that. Winter was saying this is different particle effects. I don't understand. Looks all the same to me. Does it depend on what I'm attacking? The three darty bits? Um, oh yeah, okay, I see what you're saying. They come in different directions. Yeah, 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 okay. All right, thank you. To the eagle. Oh, I can't get it. oh wait, can I uh, reset? There we go, perfect. Wish you could do that on all mobs. That'll be pretty handy. All right. Oh, I see it. I'll see it. Oh, apparently we're going this way anyways, maybe? Or else this person's just out here fighting for fun. Southwest. All right. Let me go attune. And then seriously, is it in here? South E. Oh, wait, where is it? I'm confused. Hold on a second. Let me attune to this first, though. It was southwest. Now it's southeast. All right, I'm sorry, I can't talk to you yet, Graha. Hold on a second. Even though I think I'm getting ahead of myself here. Can I not aggro you, please? Does that have a front? It sure does. 
Oh god. Alright, well, whatever. You can die. I feel like slide casting is super easy now because my cast time is so short. Like if it starts at all, I'm good. At least sometimes. No, let me attune before it attacks me. Oh wait, dodged it. I might actually get the. Oh, so close. So close. Oh, this guy's gonna help. Oh, thank you. No, I just like stop attacking it. I attuned to this thing, right? Like I can teleport to it. Yeah. Excellent. Back I go. M097, M032, some ones without names. Does this thing say something? This is additional entity detective. Oh, it changed my thing. No, that's not what that looks like. Look, Ari, the machines here do not appear hostile. Let's see if we can communicate with them. Begging your pardon, but we're searching for Denzians of this star. Bzz, unknown life forms detected, assigning generic label, interplanetary travelers. Greetings and welcome to the planet. Blip, bloop. <laughs> the planet? What? Could you repeat that? It appears your hearing organ is unable to process the name of our tongue. It may be translated into yours as Alphatron. Our people, meanwhile, are called the Omicrons. Omicron? That's the latest uh, variation of COVID. You need to talk through a fan. What? Oh, <laughs> yes, that would help. <laughs> you, you thought that I needed to talk to a, through a fan or you thought about COVID? <laughs> and you stand within one of our outposts. The Omicrons, you say? And what is it that you do here? COVID. All right. We are preparing for war. Oh. As we presently do not have a designated target, you have nothing to fear. Wait, they're preparing for war with not anything in particular. Should your star become designated, however, you will be taken into custody and or terminated. I, I prefer the first one to the second. Not a little frightening, these Omicrons, but at least they seem to be forthright. I will see what else I can learn from this fellow. If you could try speaking with the others. I want to speak to him. The rules of engagement forbid the harming of neutral travelers. As long as you abide by our laws, you need not fear for your lives. Um, but what are your laws? I might break one accidentally. Go on and try speaking with the other units here. With our combined findings, perhaps we can piece together the state of affairs for the Omicrons. Okay. N0253. Bzz, measuring combat capability. Results negligible. Subject falls outside of targeting parameters. I'm negligible? What? I am the strongest being in the entire universe, I swear. Greeting, greetings, traveler. We are the Omicrons, and our objective is self enhancement. In order to achieve this, we venture forth in conquest to acquire combat data and resources. Most recently, we succeeded in subjugating the homeworld of the beings whose strength was said to be out without parallel, the dragons. Oh, the poor dragons. Yet though the endeavor yielded a wealth of combat data, the star was rendered barren and unable to yield resources. A subsequent costing determined that the losses incurred exceeded the gains. Oh yeah, they like defeated the dragons and then they just left, didn't they? That was rough. N0055. Blip, bloop, autonomous weapon deployment complete. Vanguard armament upgrade complete. Munition levels satisfactory. Combat readiness assessment nominal. Awaiting instructions from Sir. Maintaining state of combat readiness. Oh, right. It was, um. It was Omega that defeated the the d -d -d dragon so Omega where's this last guy oh he's hiding back here 
M097. I already saw you guys. You can talk to you, though. Bzz, greetings, traveler. When venturing outside the outpost, beware malfunctioning units. They do not heed Sir's command, Sir being Omega, and indiscriminately attack all non Omicrons. For the avoidance of confusion, be advised that Sir is the alias of Stigma 1. Sir issues instructions to our forces as the foremost of the six strategic matrices that bear the designation Stigma. Okay. You learned a few things, so did I. Ere we share our findings, however, I believe it best to step outside the outpost. Come with me. You don't want to share your findings where they can overhear us? Ah, there you are. We finished surveying the area. This will come as no surprise, but there was no way forward. There were portals like the ones we used to get here, but those worked only to send us to isolated aisles. Then, as before, we must locate the embodiment of emotion that bars the way. What of yourselves? Did you find anyone to speak with? Well, we found something. So the Omicron seek to advance themselves through conquest. Following their victory over the dragons, they stand ready for the next campaign, but their leader has yet to issue new commands, and so they wait. In such a place, who could it be that fits Uriange's description of souls whose yearning for oblivion surpasses all, all others? Uriange said this? Oh, oh right. Will they explain this? During our investigation, before we joined you in Allegia. Why would he say that to just... Uh, I'm so confused, but I'm still confused by that conversation. So that's the way of it. Why couldn't he just say it to all of us? That's what I want to know. Given what we know of this place, it's certainly a curious state of affairs. While the dragons and the Ea long for death, the Omicrons long for conflict. As much as that may lead to destruction... It must be considered a distinct desire. In order to find the source of the dominant emotion, I believe we should seek out their leader, this Sir. According to M032, the first Omicron with whom we spoke, there is a console by which we might communicate with it. M032 also added that it would be a pointless exercise, but that in itself I believe is worth investigating. What say you? Complete. <laughs> Pointless exercise? What does that mean, I wonder? I mean, that seems pretty obvious what it means, Alice. <laughs> Considering the Omicron's single-minded character, the lack of new orders does seem unusual. I agree that we should seek out their leader. Um, I don't know what this means. No bounds? Something? Am I supposed to be able to read Greek characters? Where's my sister when you need her? That she'd know. Graha Tia is ready to set forth. So the console we seek lies on the far side of this aisle. Given the nature of the ground, the route may not be entirely direct as it seems. Let us all watch our step as we make our way. All right, this way. Where's my next uh, southeast? Well, convenient that I'm going southeast. Why are there so many all, all at once? Oh, hey, look at that. Look at that. All right, which way is this guy facing? It's facing that way. This guy's facing... Oh, nope. Okay, whatever. We just run. We gotta run! Make a run for it! <laughs> they should de-aggro by the time I get to that. You know 
wet. Hold on. Oh, no, no, no. Where's my next one? Northeast. Well, I'm not going that way just yet. Forty-two complete. Stigma one, the prime decision-making authority for the entire machine civilization. This mechanism has been faithfully reconstructed into Ostracon Decta Hexi, originally hailed as a strategic matrix Alpha One. Catastrophic damage inflicted upon its systems resulted in its currently assigned designation. What am I looking at? Seriously, I did not see what that picture was of in my thing. Whatever. <laughs> Greetings, sir. Can you hear me? Say something if you can. Awaken. Activate. Password. Well, I try. <laughs> Good job, Alize. The glow would suggest it's still operational, but how are we to interact with it? This appears to be the console, but it seems unresponsive. Would you care to take a look at it? Yeah, can I just like kick it a few times? You try touching, smacking, and attuning with the console, but there's no response. Did I try kicking it, though? No luck, I see. But there must be a way to activate it. There must. I feel like I'm that jerk who, like, stood almost on top of it when I could have clicked it further away. <sighs> well, I'm out of ideas. As am I. Operating such consoles is trying enough, but if we can't even activate it? Perhaps there is a way. First, consider the world that has been recreated here. Its inhabitants were machines who gathered combat data to enhance themselves. And among the many wars they waged, the most notable was that against the dragons. As you've doubtless surmised, I believe this was the home world of Omega. I did surmise that. Sid built a jamming device to defeat it, a device which generated massive bursts of lightning, its sole weakness. That's all well and good, but what does that... Wait. You're not thinking to strike the console with lightning, are you? Why not? <laughs> as a matter of fact, I am. Ask yourselves this. Why would an entity as puissant as Omega not be designed to suppress the effects of lightning? because it relies upon it, or something akin to it, as a source of energy. My thoughts exactly, and there is a good chance the same is true of the Omicrons and their devices. So, shall I cast caution to the wind and try something reckless and dramatic? Please do. Have at it, I'm not sure this is a good idea, or I could use my custom made Omega Jammer. Do I have a custom made? Do I have this? <laughs> Wait, you still have it! Sid and Nero's legendary device which brought low the super weapon Omega! Apparently. Wait, the actual device was much too big to lug around, so you must only have the control module. And there I was getting all excited. Never mind. <laughs> an old-fashioned spell. Damn it! Device. That would have been fun. I'm glad that was an option, though. That was cool. Hello. It... it worked! Sort of. We're not talking to anything yet. Well, hello.
Checking for new communications. None found. All units, please maintain current state. End transmission. Closing connection. I mean, so the dragons did survive because a dragon came to to a a I forgot the name of it now. Uh, <laughs> And so did Omega, right? So Omega also sur wait. Yeah. Omega also survived. So not every a theorist. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> I was just like <laughs> what's it called? <laughs> um, yeah. So Omega also survived. So not everybody died. They just all came to a theorist. Yeah, at least one dragon survived and at least one Omega survived. Elysium? I don't know. I'm pretty sure there's some other thing where there's a planet called Elysium. Uh, I think that's that's a real thing. I don't know what I'm thinking, though. Wait. We have questions for you. I don't think he cares to answer them. Of late, them. no mission orders have been issued. Why not? Has there been some manner of trouble? Reply. The extended operations unit has yet to determine guidelines for future assignments. All strategies are calculated, devised, and actioned in accordance with set guidelines. In the interim, all citizens are directed to maintain a state of combat readiness. And reply. Awaiting quick. Can you tell us why the Extended Operations Unit hasn't yet determined the guidelines? Unable to comply. Information unavailable or access restricted. In that case, is it possible for us to communicate directly with the unit? Access denied. Unable to establish connection. I mean, is access denied because we don't have permissions or because you couldn't establish a connection? Is there anything you can tell us? Have there been any abnormalities, like a, a threat to the star, or widespread unrest? Reply. Negative. All citizens continue to operate at maximum efficiency. If your operations are suboptimal, please proceed to a maintenance facility for evaluation. Otherwise, stand by to a designated post. End reply. End transmission. Closing connection. I could activate it again, but I doubt it would be productive. What do you think? If all the Omicrons really were running as efficiently as it claimed, then I doubt they were hoping for life here to end. As this Sir told us, there just haven't been any new instructions, and everyone is standing by. Should be standing by at any rate. If there are those that are neglecting their duties, perhaps we can glean a clue from them. I propose we take another look around, and also try to find the operations unit. I remember when we set Omega loose to deal with Shinryu, an elegant weapon we once thought, and here we are now visiting our recreation of its homeworld. I can only imagine how else these beings will surprise us. Though I never encountered a Omega myself, it's conceiving the means to send the Crystal Tower. In conceiving the means to send the Crystal Tower to the first, we borrowed much from its mastery of the Rift. Indeed, so many times did I read the report of your battle, I believe I could recite it word for word. Omega's miniature likeness also survived to the future. If a little worse for the wear, I must confess I was delighted to see it again in the present. Let us focus our search on the outpost. Alice and I will try speaking with the Omicrons this time, in the hopes we might learn something new. Meanwhile, perhaps you and Graha could observe them from a distance? These beings are systematic and routine by nature. If there are any that aren't, it shouldn't be too difficult to spot them. If there are no questions, then let us begin at once.
As we came this way, I believe I spied a promising vantage point. Follow me. Northeast. That's where I'm headed. Wait, no, I'm not. I, I'm like, in fact, headed that way, but that's not where the quest is supposed to take me. Why? Why? I'll see it. Where is that beta going? I was on like a mission. Please don't aggro me. I said don't aggro me. What are the chances that the end of this is far enough to de aggro it? Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Alright, what else we got? Oh, very far to the north. Where am I? Wait. But I've been there. Hmm. Or have I? Well, whatever. Hmm. This took me further around. Seriously. Further around than I wanted to go. Where the lookout point was? No, I think it was that way a little bit, maybe? No, oh, maybe it was here. Uh, I, don't uh, I don't think it was quite here, but perhaps. Oh, Graha, what, what say you before I touch that? And here we are. I see the twins are wasting no time with their inquiries. Uh, oh, yeah, I can see them. Let's begin observing the Omicrons. They're supposed to be standing by, so we should look for any that aren't. Search base Omicron for er errant Omicrons. You may move the camera as well as zoom in and out, target the Omicron and examine it. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Can I examine Alpha No. No. The Omicron is speaking with Alpha No, though you can't hear the conversation. All appears as normal. Oh, there's one running around back here. The Omicron wanders about ceaselessly as if lacking a clear objective. Nope. I found it. That was easy. That was some weird pointing. An Omicron wandering aimlessly? Where? I see it. It's scratching its head. It's left the base. Let's follow it. Oh, I hate that these boots have Ari's toes sticking out. So weird. I feel like I should be going to talk to Alphano and Alice, but uh, they're too far. Oh, too far in the opposite direction. It's not here, but it definitely came this way. It must have used this portal. Time to go through and see what we find? Sure. Oh, what do you say now? Nothing nearby save malfunctioning units. Come, the portal awaits. Travel through the portal? Sure, why not?
what is your query? Who are you? What are you doing? Are you lost? Aha! You found it! What are you doing here? I don't think I know. I am looking at the tree. It's beautiful. Quite an unusual specimen. What is the device attached to it? The tree is a sample collected from another star. As it cannot survive in our environment, however, it requires life support. That is the function of the device. To go to such lengths to sustain it, is there something special about this tree? Being foreign matter, protocol requires that we study it. As this task has been completed, the specimen may be discarded. However, when I behold the tree, I am made to feel as though there is a problem. In order to become strong, we have continued to enhance ourselves. Like we did countless others, we, we conquered the star whence this tree came. It is the last remnants of a dead world, and there is nothing toward which may, nothing towards which it may aspire. Yet it grows, extends its branches, sprouts leaves, produces seeds. Why does it seek to continue? Why was it made to behave in such a way, and to what end? I do not understand. I see. Out of curiosity, does this pertain to your duty? No, it does not. My apologies. I shall return to my designated post and assume a state of combat readiness. So it was acting outside of orders. Perhaps it is simply a malfunctioning Omicron. These are by no means uncommon. But it may also be a unit possessed of the ability to make decisions, one not unlike Sir. I believe this bears further investigation. To endeavor to live even if we must depend on forces beyond our control. Tell me, Ari, one day when this adventure becomes part of your epic, do you think I will be mentioned in it? Of course, why wouldn't you be? Maybe in a footnote. You're not here, so... You're not here so you can be in a story. Of course, why wouldn't you be? You truly think so? That would be a... Nay, I shouldn't say such things until the moment comes to pass. Never mind the embarrassment. Well, we'd best get on with our task. Yeah, Graha's going next, isn't he? Tracking down Sir and understanding the nature of the emotion which bars our way. Okay, hold on a second. Um, I want to look up... Uh, alphabet. Let's see. Um, what are those like slashy slashes? Not all Greek letters. <sighs> 
you took it as file not found. That's fair. Just that we've seen, uh... Like, it almost looks like it should be homebound. Because this looks like it should be bound. Although, wait a second. No, found. Found? Oh, not found. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. ready to take the next step we should return to the outpost for now the others will wish to hear about the errant omicron oh I can probably teleport back to uh, yeah base instead of trying to teleport around Given them the short of it, if you would care to provide a full the full account. It appears the two of you made a promising discovery. You know what? I kind of want to go do this quest. Let's do these as we go along. Inquisitive Omicron. Learn to love. The Inquisitive Omicron is eager to understand a certain phenomenon. Assistance requested. This unit has observed a curious phenomenon in which certain members of the enemy factions have exhibited a marked increase in their combat capabilities. Analysis suggests said members share a unique intraspecific bond with others in their faction. These individuals were conferred titles such as consort and family. This unit detected no difference in physiology that would provide notable advantages in combat, yet the presence of intraspecific bonds alone led to an increase in performance. Records indicate that one member of a bond group exhibits this exponential improvement when the others are eliminated. <laughs> Potential benefits of such augmentation are projected to be immense, thus this unit's query. Are you familiar with the aforementioned phenomenon? Yes. <laughs> Were <laughs> this is fortunate, as this unit has constructed a consort for research purposes, you are asked to delineate the method by which this unit might form an intraspecific bond with said consort. <laughs> Requesting standby at present coordinates, initiating consort retrieval. Interesting. Uh, oh, that's where is this? It's like right here, but I don't see anything. Oh, destination. Okay, I said wait here. I'm just blind. Don't mind me. Activating introduction, this unit presents the aforementioned consort. At present, its capabilities are comparable to subordinate patrol units. How should we proceed? You could give it a pet name. You need to grow closer. You could give it a pet name. Scanning identification database where records indicate this Omicron is designated test unit 0043. This unit requests confirmation that said appellation qualifies as sufficiently pet. No. Hesitance detected were new proposal, my beloved. A review of this unit's memory show that a member of an enemy faction referred to its bondmate as such. Appellation change confirmed. New designation, my beloved. <laughs> Reconfiguring emotional status to grateful. Were this unit appreciates your assistance in facilitating the creation of a special bond with my beloved, initiating phase two of the experiment. 
Am I gonna help robots find love in this quest chain? Cause that's lovely. This unit will evaluate whether the destruction of my beloved bears a positive impact on this unit's combat capability. <laughs> Transmitting self-destruct command to my beloved. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work so well. You having trouble making it self-destruct? Analyzing unit status were no changes in functionality detected. Possibility of transmission failure estimated at 78%. This unit asks that you confirm that my beloved has successfully executed the self-destruct command. Retrieval of remains also requested. Okay. All right, where, where's the body? Holy crap, how far did it go? Oh no! It's in pieces. Is that the head? I can just imagine people skipping through cutscenes and having no idea what this quest is about and then retrieving pieces off the ground called My Beloved. Uh, and being like, what the hell? <laughs> Requesting retrieval of my beloved potential for reconstruction and further experimentation remains high. I don't know if I found enough pieces for that, but here, here you go. Here's your beloved. Self-destruct confirmed successful, were sadly experiment confirmed unsuccessful. Analysis of this unit's parameters show no change in functionality. This unit will consider executing a family simulation after reconsulting enemy faction data, but based on results of the consort simulation, termination of research may be advisable. Reconfiguring emotional state from disappointed to grateful were this unit thanks you once more for your cooperation. Your proposed methodology may be implemented in future experiments. Oh, lovely. All right, what's this one all about? Oh, gemstone trader, let's clear this out. Dynamis crystal. Combat evolved. Uh, N4486 is searching for a sparring subject. Spar with me. Initiating communication. This unit requests your participa participation in an Omicron combat simulation. 98.8 of the past 12,359 sessions have produced the exact same results. Thus, an unknown quantity such as yourself is required. An Omicron aggressor is positioned outside the base. This unit has instructed said opponent to record all combat session data. You may initiate your assault when your preparations are complete. Uh, won't its records be destroyed if I smash it? Are you looking more for a pummel pummeling or a pulverizing? I don't care about its records. Uncertainty detected were reviewing previous transmission. Verbal analysis suggests this unit has omitted crucial information regarding the current mission. This unit begs your pardon. Once you have nearly destroyed the aggressor, you are requested to activate this device, which will automatically transfer combat data to a convenient portable format, initiating handover protocol. I see. Sending coordinates per the transmission you have just received. The opponent is located on the planar frame, extending from this base, reconfiguring emotional state to grateful, 
were this unit thanks you for your cooperation <laughs> why do they have emotional states i don't understand all right so i need to smack it down but then right before i kill it retrieve his combat data got it I could have done a few more quests yesterday. Like, it made it sound like I was about to get into something. But, like, this is just more... more of the same. But I guess I was finishing up that area, so this is a whole new area. And I would have stopped partway through it, but I'm not sure that would have been a problem. Oh, right. I'm not, in fact, supposed to kill it. <laughs> My bad. I could teleport back, but it's not that far, so I guess we'll just run. What else do I still need to do here? Three more quests, but one of them will for sure be a, a uh, um, MSQ quest. We're reviewing tran received transmission. Analysis suggests the aggressor is no longer operational. Requesting return of previously provided recording device. Beeping level checker mini. <laughs> Extraction of combat data complete. Analyzing. Where quality of data greatly exceeds expected values and all previous records, reconfiguring emotional state to impressed. The data suggests you summon significant levels of ether in order to defeat the aggressor. This unit will submit a request to the logistics matrix for augmentation of direct protective apparatus. Searching database for situationally appropriate axiom where only through combat can we improve ourselves the absence of new challenge results in stagnation. Records indicate this base has not encountered new threats in a considerable amount of time. This unit sees potential value in enduring attacks more frequently, though its Discord prevention module is buzzing in a most irritating fashion. I love doing robot voices. We're reconfiguring emotional state to grateful. This unit appreciates your cooperation with the collection of combat data. Analysis suggests it will prove invaluable to the further development of base Omicron. All right. Um, where are the other ones? Are there ones behind me? Yeah, I could go do these. Also, actually, I'm going to do that because I also want to check up in this corner because I feel like there might be an ether current up there. And then I'll be good to fly as soon as I finish the MSQ. But Ari, the story, I know, we'll get to it. We'll get to it, don't worry. Don't worry. Thinking, yeah. Oh, no more robot voices. Ending as one, the thinking Ia is visibly ruminating. How fortunate that you are here, corporeal being, for we are in need of your assistance. I am sure you saw some of my kind drifting about the untamed wild just over there. As I understand, they are binding their spirits together as one in hopes of diluting their consciousness and thereby erasing their sorrows. Unfortunately, the resulting amalgam doubtless longs for more minds to incorporate, and if other Ia approach it, we may be drawn into the growing mass against our will. Your corporeal form seems to outweigh your mental capacity, <laughs> so you should be safe. <laughs> However, please destroy the collective consciousness before it kills us all. Yep. Your ready acceptance gladdens me. I believe that if you lay waste to the two wandering souls, the amalgam will appear. 
Do be aware that while your mind is safe, it may present other dangers should it realize what you are attempting. Okay. Uh, right, I kill this. Can we just kill two at once? Because that's pretty. I have to kill two. God, I'm dying. Oh, so close. So close. My God, I almost got myself wrecked. That was quick, and then I just have one more and an ether current to get, and then uh, then it's back to the MSQ. I'm sorry that I'm getting distracted, Winter. I see you made quick work of the amalgam. Of course, it is well within the E's rights to choose when they wish to end their own existence, but to force others to join them, however accidentally, is another matter. This whole ordeal has led me to contemplate how I should meet my own demise. Ah, uh, but forgive me. I forget such matters are not left to choice for your kind. Truthfully, I envy you to go forth each day full of vigor, not knowing when your lives will be unexpectedly snuffed out. It must feel incredible, if you say so. My apologies if I have made you uncomfortable. I am unused to speaking with mortals. Be assured that I appreciate your help, and you have given me much to think about regarding death, or perhaps life. Mm. No nuke. A most stimulating discussion. No nuke appears to be staring right through you. Pardon me, traveler. I lack the sense of time as perceived by those of finite lifespans, but might you be able to spare a moment to speak with some of my fellow Ea? It's, a rare, it's rare to find one so unmarred by the scars of deep wisdom. Your appearance and perceptions of an outsider differ so much from our own that I wonder if a degree of interaction might prove stimulating for both parties. Much obliged. I shall mark their location on the map. They tend to spend considerable time frequenting their usual haunts. Where are these guys? Ooh. Far. Well, I don't know. Maybe we'll start down here. My goodness, they have... They're making me go far for these. I don't know, maybe it would have been more efficient to start at the top and work my way down. The sky's so pretty here. Oh. Oh, there's uh, bad ones around. Oh, no, it's okay. Meditating Ia. Hmm, what a curious being you are. Have my peers discovered how to regain their corporeal forms where I remain lost in thought? No, of course not. Come to think of it, I wonder if we ever possess the peculiar form that you do now. Oh dear, I fear this always happens when I delve too deep into such ruminations. The very moment I... God damn you. How dare you interrupt my conversation. Oh 
dear, I fear this always happens when I delve too deeply into such ruminations. The very moment I attempt to regain clarity, it triggers a most unpleasant reaction. If my fellow Ia have not found a way for us to reacquire our corporeality, perhaps it falls to me to mediate, meditate further upon the matter. In any event, pray leave me to my cognitions. Oh dear god, have I gone the wrong way? No, I'm okay. Where is it? Oh. So far. Oh, someone else is here. Laid back, Ia. How curious. An unfamiliar corporeal life form calls out to me as I wait in vain for the inevitable coming of the end. This is indeed the chance of a lifetime, mayhaps of many lifetimes. And so I pose to you this question. Tell me, traveler, what is the true nature of life and the universe? 42. 42. An eternal adventure, a deep forest where predators lurk. 42. <laughs> Why, precisely. That is the very conclusion I arrived at myself. How heartening and surprising. I dare say to meet one as enlightened as myself. Oh my goodness. Why is it so far? I definitely should have started up here and worked my way down. I don't know what I was thinking. I was not. I don't see it yet. I should be getting close though. Oh, there it is. Inquisitive, yeah. Hmm, oh, you must be the tra traverser from beyond who has been causing quite a stir in our, around our abode. Yep, that's me. What a stroke of luck. In fact, I'd been hoping I might have the opportunity to exchange thoughts with you and your companions. For you see, I have for too long whiled away my days in listless banality, drifting waywards as my mental faculties dulled and slowed. I so longed to strike up a stimulating conversation with a traveler, yet for so long none would pay me a visit. That said, I never imagined you would have such a strange physical form. Pray tell, how do you keep your balance? I, I wonder that all the time. Whenever I'm walking downstairs, I'm like, man, how easy would it just be to like fall over? How do we keep our balance here? <laughs> what keeps your innards from spilling out through one of the multiple orifices in your body? <laughs> That's gross. Oh, but pardon me. Truly, I meant no offense. Clearly, life in your world found this shape to be suitable, perhaps even necessary, for your survival. Perhaps our own original form was equally horrifying. <laughs> it's not horrifying. All right, I'm just... Oh, wait. Oh, my... Why is it so far to the south? Oh my god, I should have gone the other way. Ugh, why? I'm sorry guys, I picked the most inefficient way to do this quest. I had no idea this thing would be so far to the south. Of the Wait, was that where I started? Maybe it was. Maybe that makes sense. In any case. Did them all wrong. Wait, it's not you? Oh, it's you. <laughs> Close. Oh, was that guy up there before? Did you encounter my acquaintances? I can only hope that they derive the same sense of stimulation from conversing with you as I myself did. For if so, we may yet discover the means to attain moratorium known as death. Until that time, should you ever be in the mood for a discussion in the profound and inevitable meaningless of meaninglessness of the universe, we will be here waiting. Yes, always waiting. All right. I need an ether current. Why is my phone vibrating? Oh. I see. Work notifications that I don't care about because I'm on vacation. Uh, this way. To the northeast. Well, I'm going that way. And then, I just need one more, which is need the MSQ. guys going there too, I bet. Still to the northeast. I see it. I 
see it. Uh, I don't know where that guy's going. No. Just the longer way around. Okay. Sorry for that little uh, distraction. Back to the MSQ. <laughs> I have given them the short of it if you would care to provide a full account. It appears the two of you made a promising discovery. Graha says you found a suspicious Omicron. That's good, because the units here were of no help. They all said the same thing, had the same things to say about the extended operations unit, that there's no way to arrange a direct meeting. Still, that served to prove that it's business as usual at the outpost. But enough about us. Tell me you learned something more useful. Maybe. Hello, Lurker Ari. How's it going? An Omicron trying to make sense of the meaning of life? None of the others were even a fraction as philosophical. This unit may be in a position of leadership, perhaps even one of those that comprise Sir. As we know, the Omicron invade other stars and enhance themselves using the spoils of conquest. Well, the technology at their disposal, with the technology at their disposal, they should be able to alter their bodies, be it in part or in whole. Setting aside the question of motive, if Sir, for example, wished to have an ordinary Omicron's body, I see no reason why it would not be possible. The problem is how to go about ascertaining if that's what happened. When I attempted to probe further, it promptly ended the conversation. If it is indeed Sir, I doubt it would be will it would willingly retreat, re reveal its true identity. I have an idea. We use lightning on the console again, but we make it stronger, much stronger. At that moment, should the unit exhibit a reaction, that could suggest that it has a connection to Sir. An inspired idea, I dare say it's worth a try. I had a feeling you'd be on board. This time, you must allow me to do the honors. I will stand guard in case your incantation draws sentries to the scene. For my part then, I will approach our suspect and divert its attention. During which time, Ari, I want you to observe it closely for anomalous behavior. I should mention that shortly before you returned, an Omicron appeared from the same direction. Rather than entering the outpost, however, it headed off towards the console. At first I assumed it was on patrol, but perhaps... That could be our errant Omicron. We must seek it out and begin our operation at once. Alright, Alphano and I will stay, stand by at the console, and when it's time, I'll unleash a veritable storm. This will work, I'm sure of it. After all, our comrades are watching over us. Come, my friend, let us fire this double doubt-plagued Omicron. Now there should be no more currents. Excellent. Um, I was gonna say, I don't think I can go that way. No, leave me alone. Nope. This is so confusing. It's you again. What is your query? No, oh, nothing. You're the one that was observing the tree, are you not? Full glad I am to find you again. I have a question for you, you see, about the device which sustains the tree. Provided it does not necessi necessitate the disclosure of restricted information very well. Graha has begun distracting the Omicron. Soon, Alice will strike the console with lightning. Observe M17 closely for anomalous behavior after Alice casts her spell. You may move the camera as well as zoom in and out, target an area, and confirm it. 
I mean, aren't I standing like right next to it? Yep, I sure am. An anomaly, you say? Performing diagnostic error confirmed. My connection to central command is suffering from intermittent failures. I must leave at once and present myself for maintenance at the nearest facility. You will excuse me. No. What you need, my friend, isn't maintenance. It is to confront the truth. While we spoke, our comrade struck the console used to communicate with Sir. That is the cause of your anomaly. You are connected to Sir, aren't you? I mean, aren't they all? I feel like we should have also observed a different one to ensure it did, they didn't all react. Affirmative. To what end have you sought to assert this fact? I do not know, but before we speak further, we must move away from the other units. I do not wish for them to know my true identity. Very well, our friends are at the console. Let us head there. God, why? Why do they make it so difficult to go anywhere? <laughs> ah! Why well, I'm so going in the wrong direction? Wait, where? Why am I so lost? I like went completely in the wrong direction. <laughs> My goodness. If not as amiss with the other Omicrons, I dare hope we have found that which prevents our advance. A little jolt works wonders, doesn't it? All that's left is to have this Omicron divulge the truth to us. Oh, another white mage. This unit struggles to understand why the tree continues to grow despite being destined to die. Let us shed light on its doubts, that we may shine the way forward. ask why you did this. From what we gather, it seems to be a personal matter. Our kind did not always work as we do now. Long ago, we possessed frail and feeble bodies. Beleaguered by stronger races, our ancestors took to augmenting their flesh in order to defend themselves. What began with limited parts eventually spread to the whole body, and at last, a means was discovered to convert the mind into data, rendering even the brain obsolete. Such complete mechanical beings were called the Omicrons, and by their might, we came to reign supreme over the star. Even then, we did not feel secure, for we knew that the universe was home to civilizations aside from our own, civilizations that may be stronger still than us. Rather than risk becoming the subjugated, we chose to become the subjugator, 
We began our conquest of the stars, but we might acquire the resources and knowledge we needed to reign supreme. We were successful in that endeavor. So powerful did we become, we could lay low even the mighty dragons. But then something unexpected happened. I began experiencing an error. I could no longer determine an optimal path. You were malfunctioning. I performed numerous full system scans, each time finding no issues. Yet the error persisted. It was then that I speculated. What could happen if we grew so powerful as to have no equal? To become stronger was essential to our existence. Our every action has been in service to this objective. But if nothing lies beyond this, can it be truly said that it was essential? Have we been engaging only in wanton destruction? You could find no threat to justify your purpose. The Omicrons will never leave this star. They will stand by until the results of energy are spent. For I have no path to offer them. None. It is not our place to pass judgment on the deeds of the Omicrons. But surely, this does not have to spell the end of your people. With your power and knowledge, the possibilities are endless. Why not seek out a new purpose? That is impossible. In the beginning, we had a higher purpose than our pursuit of power, but we lost sight of it when we so irrevocably altered our fundamental forms. When we cast aside our flesh, so too did we cast aside all that defined us. Nothing remains of who we once were. I have no aspirations. No longer can I dream. The vital spark is lost. Lost amidst circuitry and code and commands. Oh. I believe I know how to overcome this despair. And sacrificing yourself in the process, Graha? The words are ready in my mind, but ere I speak them... I want you to make me a promise. Be it across time or space, our promises have always connected us. And so I ask that you indulge me once more. That this won't be the end. Of course not, Gra. Oh, whoops. Uh, you say it, I'll do it. I can't, not again. No, nope, you say it, I'll do it. Is that so? In that case, I won't hold back. First, I want to visit Ishgard with you, properly. We scarcely had time to look around last time. I should like it very much if you could show me the sights. Absolutely, Graha. Next, you must regale me with your greatest adventures, in the places where you lived them, if possible. 
I may have read about all your deeds, but there is no substitute for a first-hand account. And last but not least, a new adventure together, unlike any we've experienced before. We'll travel the lands, cross the seas, and take to the skies upon the eternal wind, and it will be marvelous. Mm -hmm. It will. Yep. If you would humor me a moment, when we awaken each morning, how can we prove that we're the same individual who retired the night before? Keiko the goddess, what? Through the remembrance of past events, we might say. We have our memories, yet there are times when we forget or recall incorrectly. What of our bodies, then? It is the same one, we might say, yet technically speaking, as living beings, our bodies are constantly changing. It will never be as it was at an earlier point in time. <laughs> Sorry, Ari. Our souls are no more immutable. On our star, people are known to inherit the souls of others, yet they are decidedly different beings. For my part, I've subjected my totality to much and more. I've made my body into an extension of a tower, Blended my soul and memories with those of another self. And each time I would ask myself, what is it that makes me, me? Are you able to determine an answer? No. But that doesn't mean I'm confused. It simply means I'm the same as everyone else. So I posit this. Who we were need not prescribe what we now hold in our hearts. Whatever came before, what matters most is the present. For me, that is being here with my friends, full proud of how much we've grown together. So I urge you to not give up. Heed your heart's desire and hope that the future you long for shall be realized. I cannot. We cannot. We cannot understand desire, nor comprehend hope. We do not know how to create such things. We are not unlike you and I. I too have struggled to find the courage to express and embrace my wants. If you like, I will tell you a tale. A tale of a world on the brink. Of a people who never gave up on the future. Of a man who realized his grandest dreams and then awakened to a grander reality. Idiot! Just once! Just once! Stay with us to the end!
And then there were three. A crystalline path. He has paved it for us. Uh, where? I didn't see it. They all leave so easily as if it's nothing. How do they think we feel? Oh, don't worry, Alice. You'll leave me soon, too. The next time we meet, I'll, I'll give him such a flick. And that'll be just a start. Fools. All of them. Fools. Well, I mean, we're moving forward, aren't we? Forge ahead. Admits the sadness of Alphano's countenance. There is a newfound determination. The crystalline path. Graha pa has paved it for us. Difficult as it is, we must carry on for our friends and all who await us in faith. Time to forge ahead. Who would have thought? So come. Let us seek the path's beginning. It appears to be near the outpost. let it break me. Don't you worry. I never have and I never will. Good. Look, Ari, a portal has opened. It will surely deliver us true. It must. Of course, the sound mu music changed again. Yes, I did notice that. Is that where we're going? Okay, cool. Look up, Ari. It's as though the stars are being devoured by the dead sun. And that's where that we're headed, into the Maw of Darkness. Well, here's where the path begins, and it ascends to dizzying heights. Let's make our way sh one sure step at a time. Is that where we're headed? Oh yeah, look at that. Our friends got us this far, their courage, their strength, their wisdom, their love. We owe it to them to continue, no matter how long it takes. Alphano and Alice, they are now accompanying you. Keep them at your side in order to... Okay. I didn't talk to Alphano here, though. Should you start to fall, we'll be here to catch you. I know you'll do the same for us. Graha paved the wave. We were meant to follow it. Okay. Before I continue, I need to take a quick three minute break, so don't go anywhere. I will be back momentarily. <coughs> In blinding chaos, you spied black and silhouettes and knew at once that one was yours. Yet we knew not how to interpret this dream, save as a sign that great things were awaiting us. Whatever lies ahead, we will walk with you, Alpha. We will walk with you, Graha. countrymen owe you more than we can ever hope to repay. Now that our dream has finally been realized, Baj has seen fit to send us to his outpost on an expedition near him. I hope our skills will be as good as his. I don't know if that's Alphano or Baj. Alberic! He's the other Azure Dreamer, I think. Maybe? I don't really remember. I think he is, though. Let me have a look at you. I thought you were ever sent to the battlefield. I shall be out there alongside you in the company of such a divine band. Yeah, <laughs> though I may not look it, I was the Azure Dragoon once upon a time, so you can rest assured I will give all that I have in the coming fight. I certainly won't be shown up by you or a Stinia. So yeah, we're like all three, all three of us are Azure Dragoons, right? Yeah. I do really like that they acknowledge, um, acknowledge all my jobs and everything. And this guy's the machinist guy. If it isn't Ari, tis thanks in no small part to you that the manufacturing futures have been brightened. 
greater than ever this winter. I'm pleased to report that I and a handful of my colleagues have been selected to join the symposium. Ere the expedition has ended, even the temple knights will be singing our machine's praises. Once they have borne witness to not only our mechanical proficiency, but our combat prowess, too. this seems the perfect opportunity to mingle with the other guests. Would I be correct in assuming those ladies over yonder are Serena and Sadu? Oh, pl oh, please, Amenelaine. Please go and hit on Sadu. I would pay money to see that. <laughs> please. <laughs> Perhaps I should introduce myself, though I don't much like the look of that fellow with the enormous ass. <laughs> please go hit on Sadu. Oh, my goodness. I cast my lot with the populares to bridge the divide between Garlemald and his territories, that all may be united in a common cause. But we were disparaged as of radical elements, dissenters looking to destabilize the empire from within. Many friends and even my parents perished in unfortunate accidents. I too would surely have met the same fate had I not defected. Nevertheless, I still dream of equality and peace for us all. As the world stands itself stands on the brink of collapse, I hold out hope that one day that dream Oh my god, I, I'm so just like sniffly. I feel like I'm sick and I don't think I am. I'm just like normally a little bit sniffly, <laughs> but like the last couple of days have been super bad. All right, thank God. I have close ties with the scouts of the Eastern Alliance and the various resistance groups, and they're an absolute joy to work with. All right. Blessed are we to have made countless Vithlas allies over our journey to Corinth. Indeed, we are joined today by many new acquaintances in whom time we shall come to call our comrades when they come. I was half expecting to find the man who taught me red magic amongst them. And I am back. All right. Whew. Music? There we go. There's like nothing here. Oh wait, I can't get on a mount because they're following me. All right, well, let's just go for a walk, kiddos. Is there anything on here other than to just, like, walk? Oh, what's up here? What's so good? Oh, the Garlemald theme. Listen to the silence. Thancred would scout ahead the road ahead. Yishtola and Uriange would trade opinions on esoteric subjects. Graha would join in their discussions, or else chat with me and Alice about the mission. Asinian would be at the rear, apart yet present. All the while, you would come and go, wherever you are needed, and together we would travel. All I can hear are my footfalls, my heartbeats. It's so much quieter now. But the fact that we can breathe and continue on is proof that the others are still with us. They are. They are. Aren't they? Mm-hmm. I believe. I believe. I have hope. And that's why we will succeed. Because all hope is not lost. Oops. Look back on the path. The portal's vis barely visible up here. Truly we've come far. Much farther than would have been possible had we kept chasing perfect ideals as we did in the past. It is because we have known failure and frustration, that we have learned and grown from them, that Heidelin has entrusted us with this mission, with the fate of the very star. You RP'd this the whole way up because you were too busy sobbing? No, I still believe. It's all a dream, isn't it? A long, elaborate dream. Any moment now, I'll wake up in my bed, still a student, grandfather alive, I'd go about my day relieved as fragments of that other life fade away. And that would be happiness, wouldn't it? That none of it? No. No, I won't give up these experiences. Good and bad, they are mine. They are me. That's a spirit, Alice. Eh? Why do you guys not have any faith? Any faith in us that we'll, we'll save them in the end. They'll be back. 
Offer a word of comfort. Rest assured I am fine, but thank you for your concern. What of you? Though we can't afford to be too leisurely, neither need we rush unduly. We've crossed an impossible distance to stand where we are now, and we're but a few steps away from the journey's end. It will all be over before we know it. Offer a word of comfort. Me? Oh, I still have plenty of legs left in me, don't you worry. It's you I'm worried about. Oh, I'm fine. You always push yourself so hard for us, for everyone. And while we're here to make sure... And while we're here, we'll make sure to bear our share of the burden. While we're here, yep, because you guys are going to leave me too. Look at the path ahead. Well, this is it. The end of the path and the beginning of whatever awaits. There will be greater hardships. We'll be made to feel powerless. Yet come what may, let us need no regrets. No, let us have pride in what we have achieved. In what we have achieved and how it changes for the better. That's worth fighting for and dying for as they did. There are some structures up ahead. Still a ways to go before we reach the dead sun. Given all this, I know how naive it must sound to hope it all works out somehow. Winter, Logdow. Winter, where are you going? Still, you'll forgive me if I wish it for it all the same. And for you most of all. Not that you of all people need it. It's just, after all the help you've given me, for once I want to be the one to help you. I like all these pauses that give time for my sprint to... <laughs> the necropolis what is this place what if I parted ways with her now that would suck of all the recreated worlds we've seen this one feels the most familiar is it our world but dead This is almost... Normal? It's not unlike many cities we know, but it's deathly quiet. Mayhaps the inhabitants are within the building. Or invisible to our senses. Wrong on both counts. There is simply no one here. Hello, Median. Median! This is how I found it when I arrived. Another star which once pulsed with life, but no longer. How it ended, I do not know. Invasion, sickness, suicide, none can say. None live to speak for the dead. They're gone. Gone. Search all you like, but you'll only end up turning back. Never. If what Median says is true, what are we supposed to do? Not listen to Median. You think you've caught me? This form's barely a drop in the ocean that swells within the dead sun. Even so, I could easily unmake you. You're only still alive because of your comrades. They cannot protect you. Forever. Um, if you give me your login, can I fly to your house and log you in while you're heading <laughs> back from work? I wish. I wish. I don't think I'll get there before before you get back from work though, so I'm not sure that would help. Until they fade away, I'll satisfy myself with watching you try and fail to find a way out of this lifeless place. It'll be close. 
If there is no one here, then neither should there be a motion to bar our way. Yet Medion seems convinced we'll turn back. What riddle is this? The emotion that bars our way is our own. Probably. One way or another, we must find a way forward. Let us make a thorough search of the city. You're not alone. If Alice is discouraged, she betrays no hint of it. Whatever Median may have said, we should confirm it with our own eyes. We need to have a look around. Indeed, at the very least, it, does appear, it doesn't appear to be a sprawling place like those before. If we split up, it shouldn't take us too long to cover the area. Wait, the other places were sprawling. They weren't that big either. Media. See you now. Nope, same thing. Alright. Hmm, vantage point. I'm surveying, surveying, not seeing anything. There doesn't seem to be anyone here. Perhaps you could try calling out. Hello? If anyone has heard you, they do not respond. A tree-like object. Honestly, this tree reminded me of the moon. Um, best way burrows. The object resembles a tree. It appears to have been fashioned from a stone-like material. Erected in place of an actual tree or to serve some other purpose, perhaps. Regardless, there is no one left to explain to tell the story. A dusty table. Were it not for the thick layer of dust, one could imagine someone drinking from these cups but moments ago. Bar counter. Oh, what the heck are these things, though? Is it just, like, alcohol pods? The place is reminiscent of a bar, but neither patrons nor staff are anywhere to be seen. Egg-shaped containers line the shelves, with a loose view sitting on the counter. Vessels for the beverage in all likelihood. Can I open them up and drink from them? A venue bustling with activity until it was not. <laughs> just deck her one. Yeah, that would be handy. Alright, I did all the ones that I could easily see. So what else do we got? I think I can climb. Oh, there's one out here. I thought I saw somebody walking around down there. In the distance, you glimpse Alice picking her way through the ruins. Oh, over there. But otherwise, by no sign of life. If anyone can hear me say something. Your calls echo faintly before being swallowed by the silence. Nope. A door! Guys, there's a door! There might be somebody in there. Oh, it's very rusty. Okay. It's an interesting shaped door. Though set slightly off the ground, it is, this appears to be a door, while the objects to the left could be letter boxes. The door is rusted shut, and the film of dust all over suggests no one has come through in a long, long time. Shall we go see Alice? Eh? Ari, right, take a look at this. If this road was a little longer, we could take it just beneath the dead sun. But I suppose this is where the reconstruction ends. We're still pretty far from it. I'll say. How about you? Did you find anything of interest? Or are you saying that we could make it to like... Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. No. I found a door. I see. I noticed the same things. Cups left on tables, chairs out of place. I don't know what happened here, but I do know I don't want to be alone anymore. We've searched enough for now. Let's find Alphano and compare what we've learned. Where's Alpha now? He's back this way. A very heavy silence. Yes, the music is gone now. What's that out there? Wait, this quest is called You're Not Alone? But I thought we are alone. I don't believe. I have hope. Nice view, though, yeah. 
Did you find anything? No, not yet. No, this place is completely deserted. And I can't see how we're supposed to move on from here. Neither can I. It's quite the quandary. There are no denizens to bar our path, yet there is no way forward. We bar our own path. We must have hope. For another mystery, we did find signs of very recent life. You'd swear everyone just vanished into thin air. I wonder how many ruined worlds like this has Meteon seen. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for sneezing in your ear. Oh. Could it be? Yes. Yes, I believe I may have puzzled this out. Oh, good. Despite how it appears, it's no different this time. There is someone here who has wished for this ruin. Median? And I believe that together, Alizé and I can overcome their will. Is it me? But who will I get quests from if you leave me? No, I won't allow it. I promised your parents to keep you safe. Not another word. Hmm. I promised your parents to keep you safe. I know. I know. But if there is a chance this will work, then I would take it. For everyone, and for myself. I will not pretend otherwise. I have my fears. Not for myself, but for you. The last to remain. Don't worry about me, I got this shit. I'll find all your souls, bring y'all back. Keep my promise to everybody, no one's dying here. You are no stranger to carrying the burden of others. But I can only imagine how heavy the weight would be this time. As your friend, I cannot bear the thought of making you suffer so. I literally cannot go and talk to your parents if you guys don't come back with me. Like, impossible. Then why suggest such a thing? Alice, you don't have to go. It's too much to ask of anyone, even her. I mean, or we could all just die. Why must she be the one? Why must she fight alone? Ah, uh, it's just what I do, Alice. More than a hero. She's a dear friend. Not only to us, but to so many others. There are so many people in the world who care for you, and yet... And yet... <laughs> Alizé, I have an idea. Given the nature of this realm, it may be possible to do more than unbar our friend's path. We might also pave her a new one. For instance, a path where she finds happiness at journey's end. Only when I save your souls. This much? I think we can believe with the utmost conviction, no matter how deep our despair. So please, believe in us too, and press on. Thank you. What are you? If the plan's decided, then let's not dally. Bye, guys.
I don't believe they're leaving forever. <laughs> Alistair doesn't like long goodbyes, yeah. Ah, there you are. It was as I said, was it not? Nope, you're wrong, Median. It was. We couldn't find anyone. But this place isn't entirely deserted, is it? You are here. You sought out a Star of Promise and found a ruined husk. Like us, you explored the devastation. Like us, you were stricken. Horrified by the thought that so many lives could be snuffed out as if they were worth nothing. And the thought that you would have to bear the terrible tidings to Hermes. That which you saw and felt, you shared with your sisters. As did they share their own grim findings with you. Overcome by the pervasive despair of these stars, some of you inadvertently ushered their peoples to their ends. Knowing the horrors you know, anyone would feel the same. They would fear what lies ahead and struggle to move forward. Fear? I had forgotten that such a thing existed. So focused have I been on shepherding despair. If you can remember, then you can still face and overcome your own fear. Why would I bother with such an insignificant emotion? If the despair I command is as a raging river, then fear is but a trickling stream. Mm, you hate and love how the game felt like it was talking directly to you so many times, yeah. It can do nothing to alter my flow. You spoke with the Aya, yes? Heard their tale of what awaits the universe. It's true. The stars grow colder and more distant. Eventually, all will enjoy frozen solitude. We can have some fun until then. Using the power of Dynamis, I'm hastening that process. But why? In so doing, nothing will be born ever again. Everyone will remain dead. Just zooms up. Alas. It will take time for that to happen. So in mercy, I sent you my gift. To spare you needless suffering. But we want to suffer. Let us suffer. Don't worry. Even if no living witnesses remain to mark the event, I'll make certain that Atheris has a proper end. I have any say in it. I mean, because it For won't happen. For all the power end. you wield, you're more fearful than the familiar you used to be. That Meteon feared simply to move forward, but your fear is such that you've given up on everything. I know it well. That sense of defeat. I've tasted my fair share of it. But as many times as we've fallen down, we've learned how to pick ourselves up and carry on. We take each other's hand, share in each other's courage, follow in each other's footsteps, and turn sorrow into strength. You tell him, Alice. Eh? There are times when we fail. We bear wounds that do not heal. But these experiences are part of life. And they make us stronger. We, we rise, fall, and, and rise, rise again. again. Bye, twin. Don't worry about us. You must take the next step, and all the rest after that. But who will give me 
quests now. There's no one here. Nope. The final bridge. It's so steep and slippery. What does it reach to? I'm really confused. Alice said it was closed, but it doesn't look that close. I don't understand how I'm supposed to get there. Earlier in Old Charlian, uh oh. Has the uh, end of days come here? No. Don't worry. Don't give up on me yet. The whole planet's praying for you, no pressure. I know, right? Look at everyone. Please. Please. Oh, please let them all be safe. I believe. <gasps> oh, dear. Oh. Please, nobody I know turn. Cryle? Are you oh, all right? She was seeing premonition uh, it, it's nothing just a headache better hurry up oh, they'll be fine I know they will believe in me Kryle apologies for the interruption a man arrived on the last ferry an associate of the scions he wishes here. to speak with you at once. Who is it? No, who is it? I can't think of anybody. Unless. Better not be Xenos. Dirty liar. Get a grip on yourself, Ari. You'll be fine. Oh. Oh, now we can see them. In this city devoid of life, you sense the presence of another. I want to go up here. Fun place looks cool. The sorrow of a thousand thousand worlds weighs heavy, and yet you can walk on. Oh. <clears throat> Unable to execute certain restrictions. If you need a push. I'll be right there behind you. Wait, who are these people? The Thancrad? Do not despair. You are not without allies. Sounds like a Medellin. I wish I was better with voices. What we have sown in blood, we have reaped in suffering, and it cannot go on. Merlin? Upon the souls of they who have sacrificed themselves to pave the way for peace, we will never abandon our cause. I don't know who that is. While it is true that man succumbs all too often to anger and avarice, he may yet overcome his baser instincts through the forming of bonds with others. Such victories are rarely won without sacrifice, but the prize is worth the price. Raoban. And we, for our part, are glad indeed to be able to welcome friends both old and new. Save your tears for the morning. You may be sure we will have ample cause to shed them, be they for joy or despair.
From tragedy and sacrifice, we rise to greet a new dawn. A future shaped by the choices we made in ways we could never have foreseen. Yet miracles do happen, so let us pray and will our friends home. Matoya? I won't stop praying until I know they're safe. Jotaro? you may continue to serve as a beacon to others. Let's finish this. Let's finish this. We've come a long way. What's going to be at the top? Median, of course. Here, the path ends. There is no way to reach our nest. That's what you think. I told you. Resignation and acceptance reign in this place. The rejection of life by those who came to curse it. Those whose dreams were unfulfilled, whose prayers were unheard, whose labors were unrewarded. Hope cannot deliver you unto hopelessness. Our refuge is beyond you. Always has it been. Such is the nature of this place. You should have remained on a Theris. And died? No, thank you. Struggle will avail you not, nor will it grant your comrades peace. It might. Come, let me relieve you of your burden. You have suffered enough. Mm -mm. I will suffer more, and I will like it. Azam. Azam's magic. So long as our souls remain, you can use it to summon us back. But you mustn't. How do we make peace? That's why it's too soon for this to end. There are so many people in the world. You must triumph. Be safe, all of you, and come back. I am ever grateful. We came to appreciate most of our star, but there remains so much we do not know. After all these years, is this the answer I was hoping for? So long as we remember, our fates remain ours to shape. And Godspeed. Perhaps when our time comes to return to the star. We shall remember these few days we have lost. Do not squander it. The legacy I leave you. <sighs> I'll reach you. I'll find a way. Yep.
Oh, I bid them remember. But all this time, I'm the one who had forgotten. A right fool you've made of me, Hermes. Oh, poor Emmett. The boys are back. <laughs> and to add insult to injury, I've been denied a sound rest, forced to watch this clamorous show. Oh, come now. It's been a gripping tale. Unbreakable bonds and noble sacrifice, sprinkled with moments of levity to counterbalance the pathos. It's got it all. <laughs> I, for one, would have been perfectly content to watch Enraptured from the stalls. But I won't say no to a bit part. <laughs> what are you? It's Heth. And Emmett. What are you... Half-faded souls of the dead. <laughs> Isn't it painfully obvious? Worry not. We haven't the power to defeat you, nor is it our duty to do so. Not anymore. That being said, we do have a score to settle. So here I am, Venar. I suppose you needed me to tie it all together, these frayed threads of our history. But knowing you, I suspect there's a joke in it too. Oh yes, I can imagine you gloating over my forgetfulness. Were I feeling charitable, I might assume you had left room for the possibility of this outcome. Even so, you'll get no applause from me. A single gesture will not lighten the burden I've had to bear. No. Ruin in the moment. Still, you must be commended. Our methods would not have brought mankind this far. And so, as a show of respect to the last of us, I make this declaration. You will not end our journey. That is our answer. The answer of all lives of Atheris, past and present. As you've called us to the stage, so shall we perform. And creation magics never fail to please. Drawing upon the hopes of your comrades, we will make for you a new path. Oh, thank you. What form said path takes depends on you. So focus, focus, and envision that which rejects the claim that you cannot attain your goal. Ours is the wisdom to weave the fabric of reality. Ours is the power to create. Meteon, though I gave you these wings to soar the heavens, I did not teach you how to walk the earth. So loath was I to bind another living being. In the course of your long journey, you will learn from those you meet, learn to walk and run, and so much more. A flower. Yes. Upon your return, I will gift you 
a beautiful flower. These Alpus blooms serve as proof that this realm is not utterly devoid of hope. No more can you deny its power. No more is yours the dominion of despair. In case the practical implications were lost on you, your comrades no longer need fight their fight. So go on. Call them back to your side. Yay. May you ever walk in the light. You're back, guys. Did you have... You never doubted me, did you? Uh, how disappointing. <laughs> Not even a single scar in the making to brag about. <laughs> You'll find a way regardless. <laughs> Honestly. This is far more than any of us could have hoped for. Let us be thankful. Indeed. That we thus stand reunited is a gift. Let us not squander it, and see that we all return to Etheris. Aye. As soon as we've averted the final days. Well, let's get to it then. Good to see you again. Our heroic sacrifice paid off, I take it. All your heroic sacrifices, but I never lost hope. I believed. Come, my friends. Let us carry on and finish it together. You had no hope a couple of times. You the twins to talk you up the hill. I never lost hope. We always pull out the the unbelievable. Oriange is your favorite? I don't know if Oriange is my favorite, but I do like Oriange. I I think I think Astinian's my favorite. It's over, Median. No, come with us, Median. Come to the light side. <gasps> Welcome, Nikito. Yes, Nikiko. Yes. within crying in pain wailing in sorrow hurting hurting it's egg yolk just blue gross end it silence it silence our song of oblivion that's what we're here for Way is open. They can proceed. So it seems. They snapping, pooping away. Bye, boys. 
You're leaving. My what I want to say. Alice always says what I'm thinking. Of course. The encore is finished, and I will not suffer myself to live again by Heidelin's magic. <laughs> I am it. But more than that, the future you seek is not the past we loved. That is why we fought, and why I lost. But though you defeated me, my ideals are inviolate, invincible. Don't worry, Emmett. I'll remember you. Spare me your pity. I have no use for it. If you would do something for me, save our star. Can do. See this tale to a triumphant conclusion, and with elation in your hearts, bid the final curtain fall. Only then may it rise again, and a new tale begin. With new parts for all to play. <sighs> Tell me, have you been to the ruins beneath the waters of the bounty? Mm, no. Or the treasure islands beyond the frozen waters of blind frost? in Offerd's North. Also, no. Is that where we're going next? Next expansion? The fabled golden cities of the New World. The sacred sites of the forgotten people of the South Sea Isles. <laughs> Frantically scribbling notes. Yes, I will go all these places for you, Emmett. What about Merisidia, the southern continent? Do you know aught of its present state of affairs? Are you saying that we missed a few places when we cared about the end of days, or the final days, and that they may already be having the final days, and we know nothing about them? We're going to revert it anyways, and it's going to be fine, and then we'll go visit them next time. I thought not. Even of your little Eorzea, you know precious little. The true identities of the Twelve, for instance. They have true identities? Well, that's going to be the next expansion, right? Now that we've defeated, defeated the original primals, now we got to figure out the twelve. <laughs> it's it's you, Ari. What a surprise! Would never guessed. All of which is to say, expand your horizons. Go forth and seek discovery. Some of the civilizations in the reflections will surprise you. Oh yeah, we have the all the shards to to explore as well um we know the 24 man raid is going to deal with the 12 oh do we know that i didn't know that you think the alliance raid was supposed to be related to the 12 when they mentioned them back in earlier i've been slacking and i don't know anything so that's news to me as the bearer of azem's crystal you may consider your duty to see at least that much I certainly did. Wait. Was he... Did he just say he'd seen them, or is he saying he was a Zem once? <laughs> I pray we meet again. If not in this life, then perhaps another. That line confuses me. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think it's either that he traveled everywhere, and that we should at least travel as much as he did, because we're a Zem. Or uh, if he was a former as um yeah I think it's more the travel. I mean, has anyone ever had more than one position in the fourteen? Yeah, it is not clear. In any case, Emmett wants us to travel, and that's all I need to know. His reasonings, that's fine. Whensoever it should be, I trust it will be a most joyous reunion. For you, maybe. 
I want nothing to do with it. Oh, Emmett. You miss me. Admit it. Oh, don't be that way. How can you say no to that cute face, Emmett? Bye. I know you're out there watching over me, Emmett. And Hith. Both of you. Vanaz probably out there too. Hermes a little bit. You're all watching me. Mm. I mean... With the... <laughs> the 12 could be the 14. Minus Elidibus and... Uh, Vana, who became Heidelin and and uh, Zodiac. <laughs> All right. Oh, we got a lot of people to talk to again. Tis my fervent hope that our ancient friends will find a new beginning. They and all their brethren who have returned to the ethereal sea. Mm -hmm. For that they come to pass, we must succeed. Who must avert the final days and save Etheris? The 14 turning into the 12 seems too obvious to me, but we'll see. Yeah, yeah, it does. But, like, how? <laughs> who else could they be that would be, like, important? But, yeah, I, I feel like we're done. We're done with the Ancients. We're done with the Asians. I think the 12 need to be some something else. Um, but it could be. But that if it was the, the, the 14 became the 12 minus, because uh, if you're going to drop two, who would you drop other than Elidibus and Vanath? They seem the most obvious too. But that means a Zem is one of the 12, so then we're like one of the 12, and I'm not sure that makes sense. Uh, for that to come to pass, we must succeed. We must subvert the final days and save a Theris. Well, we're going to do it. To go and see all those places and more, Emmett Salk has given you quite a task. Suffice it to say, I should be glad to assist you once we've returned together triumphant. Of course. <sighs> for all the lives on those stars whose light hath been extinguished, for the ancients who went before us, I offer solemn prayer. Azima is one of the twelve, to be fair. That is true. What are they the... What is Azemia? Az 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 Azemia? What are they the... What is their their thing? Are they the Traveler? By chance? No need to explain. I have a rough idea of what happened while I was gone. It was a strange feeling, as though I was struggling in a pitch black sea. A powerful tide was trying to wash me away, one that churned with hatred and envy for life. And it was all I could do to swim against it. Then suddenly I was here. It felt long and short at the same time, hazy in a dream, but through it all, one thing was crystal clear. You fought with all your being to keep our hopes alive. That's what I do, thank Red. Never doubt me. I seriously don't know where we go from here, though. We literally have been to, like, thousands of years in the past and the edge of the universe. And now we're just going to explore Aetheris? That seems like a little bit of a let. <laughs> Uh, the Warden, apparently. There is a Wanderer, but it's Ashan. Yeah, I knew one of them was a Wanderer. Yeah, that's weird. You feel like we're going to have to study them soon? I do, I would say, though, given, I didn't know this, but if the, um, the 24 man is related to the 12, I feel like it being in this expansion would make sense that it, if it ties back into, um, the 14. But if it was, like, next expansion, I feel like I'd be less likely to believe that. Um, you want to go to Mercidia, but we still have one of the first brood. Oh, we still have one of the first brood unaccounted for. Yeah. Well, they need new places for us to go to 7.0. Eventually, we're going to run out of places to explore on our planet. Although, as I said, there's also, what, there's, like, seven shards left still? to explore? Or was there seven including the first? I don't remember. But there's there's a lot. And Emmett told us to look at to go to them, so we'll find cool new stuff. But I just I just don't know how anything won't just feel trivial after this expansion. 
<laughs> I just, I just don't see. Yeah, he held out the possibility of looking at the reflections. Mm -hmm. I can't claim I fully understand the workings of this place, but in the moment, I knew, felt I knew what I needed to do. I felt it was the right time to offer up this life I owe. I could risk it all on the wager that the rest of you would manage without me. Full glad I am to see that I was right. I would never let you down, Astinian. As different and mysterious as the ancients may be, they were people not unlike us. They were. And for the first people to fall and feel pain, and the first force to live, to find a way to rise again. I mean, the first people on Atheris, there may have been other planets that existed before them. I mean, yeah, because there was already people who'd lived in, and died by the time Hermes sent Medion out. So they weren't the first, they're just the first of, of Atheris. From them we have come, and in our pain and suffering, we are connected. Mm, did I talk to Alpha now? Probably. Tis my fervent hope, um, they and all their brethren. Yeah, 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 okay. Alright, I'll say, what's up? I don't think I ever knew what I was going to say to the man. In retrospect, it always felt like the wrong thing. But the past notwithstanding, he came to your aid and in your moment of need. Hey, newsroom! We are here, and we will not squander the chance he has given us. We will see this tale to a triumphant conclusion and bid the final curtain fall. I can fly now! On an elephant, apparently. I... I didn't cry. I... I never believed that they were dead and gone. Um, I always had hope. And when we were doing that last walk, I was more just confused and sad that I couldn't rem know, place all the all the voices. I feel like I wish they'd put actual names on them. I, I think that would have actually been more more impactful to me. <laughs> Don't make me use my brain, please. It's not only the thought of them being dead. I don't know. I was just so full of hope that I was not sad. Hope and determination to succeed. <laughs> Let us usher in an end worthy of the grandest ovation, one that will give all theorists a cause to raise their voices in celebration. Um, even if you hope they aren't really dead, your friends were still willing to die for you. Yeah, but how are we persevered through all the hardship and the weight of the world was on our shirt. I know, but they didn't really give me a lot of time to like, to process it. It was just like, okay, that happened, and now we have to make the most of their sacrifice. And Walker. I, I do wonder how much more I would cry through this stuff if I wasn't streaming. Because I feel like the being the being watched um, for some reason keeps my emotions down. <laughs> Trying to teach you a life lesson. They did everything up to including forcing you to- I know, but when they forced me to RP walk, I was just confused and frustrated that I didn't know who all was talking. And so it like, it lost meaning because I didn't know who it was from. I just, ugh. like it was good, it was good, but I wish they'd put names on it. Cause I am not good at recognizing voices. I recognized some, there was other ones that I might have, but I wasn't sure about. And then there was some that I'm pretty sure I was wrong. And Walker, the Scion of the Seven Dawn stand ready for the finale. You didn't recognize any. <laughs> well, it makes me feel a little bit better. Are you ready, Ari? Then let us set forth for the reckoning. I'm pretty sure all the leaders were in there. Um, so pr I'm guessing Amaric might have been the first. Um, I was thinking it sounded like Thancred, but it wouldn't have been Thancred. Um, and I think I recognized Hian in there. Um, I want to say, I thought the Sultana was, um, what's her face from Gridania, but I think I heard her later. So I think the earlier female voice was the Sultana. Um, the last was Ardvert? Maybe. Maybe. It's a long quest. Let us set forth for the Reckoning. Having come this far, I know everyone's resolve is beyond doubt, so I will say only this. 
Within that dead sun swirls the emotions that Median has hoarded, the emotions of innumerable souls who have strove for happiness but failed. As it was with the Denzians of Ultima Thule that barred our way, it is not for us to rebuke and admonish. Twas not by passing judgment on the tragic legacy of others that we arrived at this moment. Rather, it was by opening our hearts to their despair, by understanding and acknowledging their fates, while still refusing to share in them ourselves, to hold fast to hope, not in ignorance, but by choice. Should you struggle to do so, I'm here to help, as you have all helped me. Also, they weren't willing, I mean, they weren't just willing to sacrifice themselves for me. It was sacrificing themselves for, like, all of the theorists. Like, we all were. That's why we came here. Um... How they use the music, the lyrics, you can't listen to that tuning up. Uh, you can understand now you should be wanting to tweak and add things right up until the end so everything is just right worth the delay. Yeah. Uh, what will you say? We will prevail. Everyone's going home today, understood? Let's put an end to the end. Everyone's going home today, understood? I did not keep my hope together for people to be lost now. I... Yes, ma'am. Uh, the dead ends now accessible. So, I've heard that you guys have, some people have had the strong feeling this should be done with actual players. I don't know that I feel the strong feeling either way. Feels like it should be with with the the scions. We're here. I should finish it with them. Please do. Personal preference. Um, another thing that I wanna say is like we've which is more lore friendly? Bringing the <laughs> bringing these guys or uh or using people. You wiped a lot on the first boss. Um, but I want to say that, because, like, this time them leaving us is not the first time we've lost Scions to them sacrificing themselves for us. Like, it's kind of old news for the Scions to do that at this point. Like, they literally did that at the end of um, ARR already. And then we already had them start poofing again at the um, just before Shadowbringers, so... <laughs> Scions disappearing, like, eh, it's been done. It's, it's not new. If it had never been done before, maybe it would have had a little bit more impact here. Uh, we lose one here or there, but losing all at once is a lot. I mean, no, I feel like the end of ARR was way more impactful. Because I actually didn't know if we, I mean, I assumed we'd see them again, but I honestly didn't know. Um, and I was, like, desperate to find out. Um, honestly, I still, like, I feel like that... The ending of ARR does not get the credit it deserves. Like, that was when, like, shit got real. Um, and it was so, like, shit ramped, ramped up so fast from just like, oh, story, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, holy shit, what is going on? This is not what I expected. Uh, on the other hand, there are only so many times Yashola can get away with. Haha, <laughs> not really dead. I know, right? Yashola is the worst for this. Where I'm just like, really? Yashola, again? Somehow we'll bring you back. If I have to pull you out of the ethereal sea for like the fifth time, it's fine. <laughs> Only the third time. Uh, anyways, before I do this though, I am going to take a quick three minute break. Uh, I think I'm going to do it with NPCs. Um, I feel like it seems right to me to do it with, uh, with the Scions. I mean, it doesn't really make sense in my head for like there to be other people in the edge of the, the universe, so... I'm gonna do it with them. Uh, but yeah, in until until a few minutes from now, uh, sit tight. I'll be back. You have to pick which science to take, though. Yeah, well, I think I can figure that out.
Tempered Earth attacking Sadu's bow. Sounds like something Magna I would say. Oh, he's like chained him up. Alright. <laughs> you go, Sadu. <laughs> Evil Sadu laughter as she just like explodes everything. <laughs> I love Sadu so much. She is but one of my favorites. No, I don't stand the bad because I'm like Oh, I like her her code. Aww. The roar of the Atlas Rings. <laughs> Wait, just hold on. Reclaim your power. Then we will fight again. To the death. <laughs> was he did, <laughs> did he think Serena was gonna run into his arm? <laughs> Saved it before I showed up, so hopefully it's still okay. Give me a bag. <laughs> hmm. Out maneuvered, but not outmatched. Good. Let us take the Imperials into custody and rejoin our comrades. And soon you shall arrive at the capital. gazed upon the barons of Moria. Capital city will quickly decay because Eight hundred years of decay <laughs> since the Dahlia Spire crossed this bridge. I am back. All right. <sighs> Enter the dead ends. Alright, I have to talk to them all first. Just so you know, Ari, I won't try to keep up with you in the coming battles. No, I mean to surpass you. <laughs> if there's anyone who will need to keep up, it's Astinian. Oh! <laughs> I'm not joking. Both Elf and I have worked hard to come far. And come far. It's time we set our sights higher. So you'd better watch out, else you'll find yourself in my wake. Did you not learn from the story of Omega, where if you keep trying to... Uh, always surpass everyone around you eventually you become the best and then there's no there's no point to it all there's nothing left to defeat Emic Selk and Hithlodeus created those flowers from our hopes if so mine and Alice shall live on here the hope that you will find happiness at journey's end so let us go Ari and see this tale to the conclusion as Alphano says everyone is resolved beyond doubt, yet ere we've set forth there is a thought which, to which I must give voice. While you were in Elpis, I understand that people assumed you were a familiar. In contrast, those phantoms we encountered in the recreated Amarat regarded us as children. As people, albeit naive and immature, 
The discrepancy I posit is a reflection of their creator's perspective. Having spent eons among sundered men, perhaps he came to acknowledge us, even if only subconsciously. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. With Emmett Selk gone, we may never learn the truth, but I will not suffer this and countless other mysteries to go unsolved. Our journey will not end this day. So yeah, in when, when I went to the past, they thought I was a familiar, not like a real person. But in, in Amarat, they thought we were children. So they thought we were people. So Emmett was acknowledging acknowledging us as being real people. Thus far we have encountered recreations of some few stars. Doubtless they account for but a fraction of the innumerable worlds to whose fall Medion did bear witness. Rolling with torment, the dead sun is forsooth Oblivion's apotheosis. Say what now? It shall be no small coup to breach this nexus of despair. And yet, as this vista doth prove, there is hope, there is a way. So let us press forward together, as ere we have, to find our way into victory. It seems our arms and armor are in order, as are our personal effects. More, most importantly, we have each other. We need only finish what we came here to do. Avert the end, for Minfilia, for Reen, for all who aspire to live. So the moment of reckoning is finally upon us. I must say, when I pledged myself to your cause, never did I imagine that it would bring me to the very edge of extinction. Not that I'm complaining, mind you. After casting aside vengeance and shedding title and duty, I found myself wanting purpose. In journeying with you, there has been nary a dull moment. I totally missed his first line. Uh, no. Yeah, I was kind of spacing out, imagining who I was going to bring with me. <laughs> In the course of it all, I feel as though I've found a new place for myself and a welcome opportunity to see how much the boy has grown. I owe you a debt, I, but as you can guess, I have ever preferred to express my gratitude through action rather than word. My lance is yours. Why, thank you, Vestinian. I am returned thanks to you, but we still have work to do if we were to make our promise a reality. Having you show me the sights of Ishgard, then regaling me your greatest adventures, then embarking on new adventure together, for those things and more, I will fight. What? Could there possibly be an adventure greater than this? That's what I want to know. Of course. Oh, that was what I was asking. So long as your desire and dare to take this first step, there's absolutely no limit. No, oh, thanks, Graha. All right, who am I going to bring? Hmm. I think I want to bring right there. Alice and Astinian, but I'm on the fence whether to bring Thancred or Graha as my tank. What do you guys think? Any opinions? No. No opinions. Hmm. Graha should always be included. That's what I kind of feel. You like? You're right. Thank you. I stand ever ready. All right. Any opinions on my other choices? Alice wants to sh to be better than me, so I had to bring her. And I just Astinian's my favorite, so he has to come. Um. So that those are my those are my choices. All right. Anyone inviting? Guys, just go with the trusts. They're right here. They teach you mechanics, too. I can't bring both twins, though, because I can't bring... So you are finally I, um, here, Alpha now. in this place between death and rebirth, where life knows no dawn. Yep. Oh, I'm a-coming for you. Come, then. Follow me down into the darkest depths of despair. You call media and depression? Yeah. Media is me sitting up at 2 a.m. thinking about my stuff. <laughs> 
What is this place? I just want to be like, can I talk to these guys? Once upon a time, there was a beautiful blue star that fell to pestilence and rotted inside the and out. will consume us all. What are these things? Is this another, the another land? The more its people clung to life, the more they suffered. It's a dead end, obviously, thanks. How did this come to this? All right. I don't know I interrupted myself. Thanks for running towards me, Graha. Already like you more than I like being good. Oh, how did I not get out of that? That's bullshit. I wonder if I had ACG up, how the <laughs> GPS would be. They'd be alright. Hold still. A long forgotten seashell? Oh, I'm toxic. Why do you ask such questions? Do you not see the plague and pestilence that consumes us? Ours is a world of rancid blood and rotting flesh, where death is the only remedy to suffering. There is no meaning to be found in such misery. But it is not always thus. Beneath the waves we knew only peace and plenty. We wanted for naught, and yet craved more, that our progeny might someday flourish as we never could. Eventually we ventured to the lands above, bearing flame and iron, toppling any who dared oppose our might. The world was ours for the taking. Uh, for your raid, since you were going to Green, the raid leader said you can most likely go Reaper if you choose, and you love Reaper. Nice. Median, what say you? Um, just follow me to more enemies. Graha, Graha, you got this right. Thank you. Graha, you're my fave. I do want to start unlocking the other jobs and playing around on them. I, I'm i on the fence. I kind of want to try Sage, but I also really want to try Reaper. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to do first. Median? Until they cast not the illness, but their fellow corrupted. Purify them with fire, be gone with you. Your lot brought the pestilence. To be fueled by hatred is no way to live. Oh, not a little. Well, Graha did try his best to save me. I will give him that.
this will hurt. All the things. Will it hurt us, Dinian? That's not very nice. Hold still. Gone seashell, what say you? This world is not bound about the let's try that again. This world is not the boundless paradise we were promised. Our population quickly outstripped the habitable land, while seas we thought would shine forever blue ran dry, spoiled in foraging the tools of conquest. Cramped homes turned to squalor and then came the sickness. Our undoing, the final blessing the star has to offer. We are no longer the fools we once were. Wheresoever life goes, death will follow. Indeed, existence is but the most painful path unto nothingness, and the wise embrace their obliteration and the wise embrace their obliteration wholeheartedly. Never Alright. Estinian pities them. Pity somebody. Alright, Graha, you got this. Yeah, look at his timing. Something special for you. You underestimate me. Pop up. Um, why are we running? Oh. Oh, I see. Hold still. Oh, yes, yeah, stack up me. Oh, Alice, Alice, you're dying. You're dying. I can't save you. Oh, dear God. Okay, no, she's dying. Woo! Oh, lost her for a second. Budget exemplars. Is that what was going on? You underestimate me! Seems as good a place as any. Yeah, easy. I have you now. Allow me. And the very last of them wished they had never been born at all. Oh, Estinian said it was a hollow victory. Spatial distortion, this is pretty. Oh, 
Oh, I missed some of the things. I was reading back chat. Because I thought I remembered this room. You said they... Oh, no, they're dead. Before destroying the self-same lives that it saved. Um, Newsroom, did you say you, your party struggled with that first boss? I can kind of see that being hard if you have a bunch of people who've never done it before. I kind of like doing things with NPCs first because they show you how to do mechanics for the most part. You're tanky like I'm dying, yeah, that's fair. Uh, but I miss you reading why you asked why I stood in my babe. Probably just because I think it's hot. <laughs> it's not really deeper than that. He's, and, and he's pretty badass. There's a debuff if you're hit by the AoEs that's kind of a not quite doom. And people are allergic to it sooner for some reason. Uh, you'll see later, he really made you laugh, Estinian. A treasure. Hey, it's um, an oppressor. This will hurt. I keep thinking that healing's too easy, but it's because I can do this with NPCs if we don't do any pulls. We'll definitely get spicier with real people. You underestimate me! People sought ever greater freedoms no matter the cost. He said what wanton destruction, a long forgotten correspondence. Now with most of the people at minimum eye level or close to it, yeah, spicy. The otherworldly beings should first grace us with their presence as a sign, and do they understand that we, the global community, are possessed of wisdom and compassion needed to guide the star back to the path of righteousness. Now I'm thinking, I actually, we should be having, don't no spoilers, I don't need to know, but I'm assuming we're going to have another eight-man trial before the end, although given that this is the last uh, quest, do we really get a dungeon and an eight-man? Maybe. Actually, we'll probably have to fight um, Medion herself at the very end of this or something. Something like that is my guess. And maybe that's what, because uh, I remember Clay really thinking that he needed to play with people. Who knows? I know. So maybe, maybe, maybe that's where he felt he needed to bring people along. It only will make sense if we somehow are back to a theorist for it. Uh, that otherworldly being should first grace us with their presence as a sign. Indeed, they understand that we, the global community, are possessed of the wisdom and compassion needed to guide the star back to the path of righteousness. Yet the freedom fighters dare to undermine us, inviting chaos to disrupt order we labored so hard to build. They have forgotten the history of the star and its once myriad nations, the wars waged and countless lives lost. They must be brought to heal, the world united under a single standard, no matter the cost. You know, whatever freedom they found, it was sure live. I'm sure it lived America. <laughs> uh... Hold still. I don't wanna. Oh, I was like, what is this shining me up here? Oh, just my, just my holy lilies. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna get really far. Oh, Graha, why are you trying to die? What are you trying to do here? You're mine!
Because yeah, for some reason I was really thinking this was going to be like an eight-person fight. Um, not a dungeon. Or an eight-person dungeon. Except we never have those. But then I, I think Ido spoiled it. They tried to buy peace said that, the side uh, that I had to pick. And I was like, wait, but I thought we had the perfect number for an eight-man party with them. With them. Maybe you have to pick after. No, I had to pick then. Because it was only, uh... Because it was only four-man dungeon, so I had to pick. And I was like, oh, wait, yeah, this will be the dungeon. No, no, it was not, it wasn't a spoiler, because it was right at the moment that it happened. <laughs> but I actually, because I took it, I went AFK, and it was when I w was AFK, Hello, I was mate. like, oh, right, this is a dungeon, not a trial, this is gonna be four-man content. Um, so it says Ido, so. Oh, I kept meaning to mention it earlier, but I felt like I was probably closer to crying when all of the, uh, when they all came back. Out of tears of joy and happiness. So I was so happy to see them all again. How'd you guys feel when they came back? Ido, you said you, you didn't have hope. You, you had lost hope that they'd come back. Did you? Or did a part of you always think they were coming back? Stop doing holy when there's like no mobs left. Oh God. News are new. Relieved mostly. Let me get this treasure coffer before I do. Oh, of course we have to fight the oppressor. Why wouldn't we? A uh, long forgotten port correspondence. When we constructed the Peacekeeper, the pinnacle of engineering and technology, this mighty war machine was designed to rid us of the freedom fighters, as well as any other potential threats to peace we have so long pined for. Its artificial intelligence assumed that the singular function is carried out with cold and calculating precision. Indeed, the 10,000 Peacekeeper units we've created have now routed every threat to peace, including us. All that remains is to stand and fight. You're happy they all came back. I was happy to see them all again, but I never doubted we'd find a way. Resuming peace protocol, life forms must be eliminated to achieve peace in perpetuity. I mean, I feel like I can get more behind that. That the only way to achieve peace is to exterminate, exterminate all life. I get behind that more than just like, we're all gonna die eventually, so uh, why not die now? Deploying perpetual war machines, please stand by for order to fire. Uh, I feel like I don't wanna stand here, but Alice is. Um, yeah, thanks Alice. Alice killed me there, did you guys see that? That's her plan is to be me by killing me. Thanks, Alice. A. I'm so mad. <laughs> I'd pick my spot, and then she's like, "Let me just come stand right on top of you." Ugh. <laughs> she just wanted to be close. <laughs> I'm so mad. <laughs> I. <ha> I <laughs> should have adjusted. I was trying to, but it was too late. I'd already, I'd preset my spot. I kind of hate that they have like set positions that they just go to and I wish they'd like react to where you are. Like if I'm already standing in a safe spot, go find your own Alice. Don't stand right on top of me. <laughs> my God. Hello, Arthas. How you doing? Cutie patootie. Blinking at me. Well, at least it was relatively early in the fight. <laughs> oh, wait, where am I going? Up this way? Cheese spawn inbound last zone instance two on ultros. For any, what? Yeah, no idea what you're talking about. Beautiful. See, 
that use of liturgy of the bell. It was beautiful. Okay, Alice, you, you stay the heck away from me, Alice. Try to kill me again. Allow me. I was it's trying to be hurt. super. Oh god, there's you more. Underestimate me. Oh god. Vital signs detected, initiating extinction protocol in accordance with the primary directive. Okay. 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 Easy, easy to dodge. Estinian, did you stand in the back? Oh god. No! Fuck you, Alice. I'm just gonna stand on top of you. Nope, there was time to move. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure we would have been dead. No, we might have lived. We might have lived. You underestimate me. Good grief. Something special for you. future. You know what? I took that damage because I was trying to avoid Alice again. I was certain she was going to stand on top of me and wreck me. Oh yeah, see here. I would definitely be dead if we were stacked. You underestimate me! Did not survive that. You underestimate me! I underestimate your desire to kill me, Alice. Eh? When you said Black Mage ran circles around a boss, this is kind of it. No, it's not quite up yet. <laughs> Decimation. Oh. You underestimate me! What's the range on Liturgy? 30 ohm. That's the same as. Oh, that's even bigger than Medica, too. Okay, so that's pretty big. Pretty big. Good to know. What is the range on LB? Does it say? 50. Oh, wait, tank. Healer is 50. And when one asked, what is the point? There were none left to answer. Oh dear God. Annihilation. Well, I talked to the global citizen. Did he fire that off? Good grief. I did it, I killed them all. I killed them all. Uh, as soon as he said, this could have been us had we been unable to stop the war. Um, are these ancients? Wait, what are these dudes? Father still existed a star yeah. without strife. Time. Where none remembered life's trials or its joys. circle. You won't be my favorite tank anymore if you do. Uh, 
when you said you ran circles around the boss, is it because you like it kept forcing you like away from the boss? So melee is you be underestimate me. So you could just keep boom, boom, booming. You're mine. Kind of had to keep moving. Yeah. Well, I mean, melee can still hit when they have to keep moving. It's just like. Um, But yeah, usually black mages cannot. But I guess you can now. Long forgotten essence. A curious traveler visited our star, a bird which proffered these questions. What meanings does life hold? For what do you strive? I could find no satisfactory answer, only bittersweet memories in an age long past. There was a time when we were lesser, in our nescient sought purpose, struggled to justify life's worth. That was, of course, before we achieved perfection. Now, condemned to our paradise, we understand the faulty, uh, the f fatuity of existence. Like the fledglings we once were, the poor bird could not accept the truth. It asks us again and again, hoping perhaps our answer might change. Open the door! No. Oh dear God, save me! Save me, save me. This will hurt. Why did you take damage? Disappointed with you. You underestimate me. Got burn damage. Hold still. What its people had gained from ease, they lost to apathy. Far away from these guys. Allow me. Allow me. It's a pancake. Oh god, I was too bad. You underestimate me. Oh, we gotta go this 
way. Uh, but there's a long forgotten essence over here. There was a time when we yearned to explore the heavens, found purpose in the hope of unveiling life's mysteries. A dream shattered when we reached enlightenment and found it empty. There was a time when we believed our old legacy, thought ourselves m marking a worthy path our successors might follow. Efforts rendered futile when we discovered the keys to paradise and immortality. As individuals, we struggled to know what was right, yet in today's perfect unity, there is not left to question. We are infinitely constricted by the finite, but art, but no more. Ra La shall grant us the mercy of annihilation. Come on, Median. Apathy. <laughs> Madness is what it was. Yeah. What we got? That's so pretty. They're not pretty. Oh right, I knew I was gonna have to fight this thing. The Last Mercy, Rala. Oh no killed by the golden butterflies. I guess that's what they wanted though, right? They wanted to die. Everybody wants to die. Why are we the only ones who don't want to die? I guess we haven't we haven't achieved enlightenment yet. Medion just wants to skip that step where we want to die. And just kill us before we have to suffer. No, how so could they? So they created they? the kindest, most gentle of beasts. This thing? That we're fighting? That's trying to eat Graha's face right now. Warm glow. I'm gonna see this is maybe. And I would be correct. This will hurt. Its steps were light. And its gift was as painless as it was beautiful. That hurts. Oh no. Bathed in its golden glow, they all slept happily ever after. Time the better if I tried. Alright, I gotta move faster. As soon as that blow. Oh god, wait. Why are they not. Oh, yeah, I was just real slow. Okay, there's way more time than I thought there was. I don't know why I was so slow last time. <laughs> Let's give them a show! Run to the middle of the arena. Oh, it's back again. That's right. Let me check it out. I'm not done yet. 
Did I just die? How did I die? What the F? That's dumb. It was an AoE, but like, I had some health. Shouldn't have one shot me. I do believe I had a ball to start with. Come on, guys, let's go. Gotta get to the tree. I want to say how many different worlds did we visit, but we technically didn't visit any different worlds. We just visited memories of dead worlds. So they created the kindest, right. most gentle of beasts. Let's see. Oh, I want to put this down now. Because I'm pretty sure there's an AoE like here. Yeah, this Mormon Glow, which is what killed me last time. It'll heal us the rest of the time a bit when, uh. When it times it. Its steps were light, and its gift was as painless as it was beautiful. Oh, this one actually doesn't give us as much time. It's a different pattern. All or nothing! Bathed in its golden glow, they all slept happily ever after. Okay, calm down, Estinian. I have you now. That's a lot of AOE. Allow me. France. Allow you to what, Grah? Oh, this thing. Nice. Yeah, so this is a much easier pattern. So that one explodes when we have tons of time. Run over here. Oh, yes. yes they did. Uh -huh. Somebody else is still in the bubble. Oh, all right. Allow me. You underestimate me. 
with heart and steel. All right. Is over. Oh, that's so pretty. Got to here with your prancing. All right. Well, that went much better. I wish I'd gotten off my thing again at the end there. something. Wouldn't I have gotten a piece? Oh no, only for leveling dungeons so they give you a piece of gear at the end, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Well, I got an orchestra in though. Leave the duty, sure. You still stand. Your determination defies all reason. And that is the meaning of life. Also 42. The souls within me writhe and recoil in your presence. What must I do? What pain must I visit upon you to make you surrender to despair? The the pain of a long long life. That's that's what we need media on. No one is unbreakable. What pains one may weather may bring another to tears. But therein lies our strength. For when we fall, our brothers and sisters are there to raise us up again and again without end. I see. But no matter how much hope is On your guard. Ah, the rage. It rises. Rises. She has no body. Heck is that? God, she's chucking planets at us. That's um a lot. Oh, a stin hit. I admire. Oh, uh, stin are you okay? Stop. Media. Calm yourself, please. friends 
Orioze, watch out! Ugh. Oh, damn. Is that a sage ability? Alphino! We cannot comprehend. We cannot know. We cannot know! Are we all dead now? We saved them all just to have them die? Don't, please! Don't do this to them! To yourself! Just one good strike! We will not suffer alone. All will know our pain. No, you don't. I don't have science to do this one with. Now it's just me. You gifted them escape. Yep. They sacrificed themselves for me. The least I could do is sacrifice myself for them. And rendered yourself powerless. That's what you think. Bereft of the synergy you claim is your strength. Unless you mean to call upon the dead once more. Maybe. No, I'm just gonna fight you by myself. Defiant to the last. But you will be one with us ere long. That's what you think. You will be battered and torn and made to crawl. You will weep and wail and curse your impotence. Curse your life as it fades. As we did, as we died. Such pain and sorrow we felt. Such anguish and rage. We tried. We tried. But it was no use. Only when we surrendered did we find release. Only when we embrace death. So join us in despair and embrace yours. My ultimatum. What is happening? happening. Knock knock. Oh. Who's? Who's? Who's there? Shinryu? I guess that makes sense. What the F? 
At the end of everything, oh. I find you, my friend. Oh, fucking Xenos. I sought something in you once, as you did in me. <laughs> when at last I understood I what it was, I journeyed to Charlien to seek you out. It was Xenos. Struck a bargain with the woman who shares your gift. Kyle? Um, every streamer you watch guessed who came to Old Charlian. I did guess that it was Xenos at Old Charlian, but I didn't guess it was him breaking through the the fabrics of the universe as a massive Shinryu. In exchange for lending the Scions my aid, I was given the means to come hither. Gorging upon what remained of the Mother Crystal, I reclaimed the form of the dragon. And, hungry still for our reunion, I rode the light of the stars to you. I can like him more when he doesn't have his voice and he doesn't have his face. I'm down for this version of Xenos. I'm just tired of Xenos by now, yeah. I didn't think he was gonna- I don't know, I knew it was- I guessed that it was probably him and Old Charlie, but then I promptly forgot about it. <laughs> I take it this is your prey. Yeah. But why does it still live? Surely it is no match for you. <laughs> Thanks, Xenos. You're the only one who, like- Knows that that I am undefeatable. <laughs> he has no question. He's like, I mean, clearly you're gonna defeat it. Why is it still here? <laughs> you did not expect him to be in Shinry form yet, no. <laughs> uh, that is a pretty big vote of confidence. Yep. I assumed you would be above something so banal as despair. <laughs> am I mistaken? No, there was no despair here. I don't want your help. If it comes to it, I won't save you. Yeah. I mean, I'll take your help, because why not? But I'm certainly not going to save you. I hope you die to save me. I care not. What I desire of you isn't succor. <laughs> it is satisfaction. Xenos so believes in us. He's our best friend. Maybe. So come! Let us dispense with this distraction, you and I! We're just gonna beat it easily in a cutscene so that the final fight can be us against Xenos. Oh my god. Ronda and Xenos is back. You struggle in vain. You will not silence our song of oblivion. now accessible satisfaction not suck <laughs> all right I gotta I gotta use duty finder anybody want to join me anybody up for uh... I think Windows at work or he'd probably come every expansion ends with a trial Xenos just wanted someone to ride him good <laughs> Funky. He expected. No, nah, I think Clay's working today too. He was bummed that he wasn't gonna be able to watch the ending of this. He'll just have to watch it in uh, VODs. Hey, VOD Clay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know you would. All right. Well, I'll go do this with randos. It's fine. Um, I, you know what? I'll take it. I know. I mean, I expect to have to raise randos constantly constantly and I'd rather raise you if I must raise someone. Plus you've done it before so at least I'll know someone someone knows what they're doing. What job is uh, I don't know, on Black Mage? Alright. I don't think anyone else said they wanted to come. I didn't read. I didn't miss anybody, right? No. Funky doesn't want to join me. Winter has to work. And no one else is, and Ido, wait, Ari other Ari uh, didn't say anything, but, uh, I suspect that's a no. Alright. Let's do this. 
Oh, that's pretty. insta -Q. I'm curious about how Shinryu is gonna... Or Xenos Ryu is going to... <laughs> Zen Ryu? You can call him Zen Ryu. How Zen Ryu is gonna um, factor into this fight. Fighting on his back? Okay. I mean, that's one way to do it. I guess that makes sense. I forgot that we were actually on his back. The Sea of Stars. The End Singer. So he's not even gonna help us. He's just giving us a ride. But he believes that you we can do this on our own. We'll never reach the deliverance you seek. That's what you think. There's been some pretty cool lighting. Um, in these last few cutscenes. He doesn't care about her, he's here for you. I know. He's just like, well, if I can help you kill her faster so we can fight, so much the better. Alright, well. Let's. Oh. Our hunt ends this it was day. me! There is nowhere you can flee that we cannot follow. Even stars must die. I'm guessing this is probably the area. Yeah. Oh god, I didn't get out of that fast enough. Oh, I keep trying to heal, but I don't have my lily stacks yet. God damn it. Alright, there we go. Secure three. No, now it's not. That was just full. Oh, dear god. I'm so fucking dead. My bad. Ah, so we just gotta run away from, uh... Here, how's it going? Alright, I'm just gonna Benny myself. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, dear God. Oh, promptly, promptly standing in the bed. Your suffering is at an end. I have no mana. This is not great. Okay. Oh my God. Can I get somebody out? There we go. Alright. Tank, these heals. This is a kindness. Feathers. Uh, okay. All of us have known despair. Tanking. Not that one. Alright. Oh my god. Oh, tank busters. Oh, there's too much healing to do. I can't pay attention to the mechanic. We have seen the oh end. my god. Elegia Unforgotten. Okay. Alright, planet, planet, get the fuck away from. Oh no, there's two of them. Oh dear god, where do I go? Oh my god. <laughs> Why are those planets the worst? Uh, again and again. Planets are gonna be the death of well, they they were the death of me twice. What? What's going on with these planets? Uh, they're doing something else now. Oh no. How? I don't understand. Okay, what's going on? She's not doing anything. Fucking planet! There's another planet! Nope, I'm okay, okay. Uh, what is the 
impact event being reported mean? I was dead last time, so I'm not entirely sure. I just want to see if I want to be away from that. I knew I brought you for a reason. We have seen the end. Oh, there's planets. They're going to crash over there. Okay. This 
is a kindness. Goodness. All right, what do we got now? Not tough fun. This will be on extreme. I can imagine. Oblivion. She's definitely casting something on us. Put this down. I don't want to too early. No, nope, five seconds. Did we need a tank, uh, LB, going on there? Holy fucking hell! Nine million damage! I can't tank LB, but now I got another 
Another chance. Tank, I'll be there. Come on, tanks. Why is Ida just like, yes, we get to do this all again? Yeah, you get a full bar for that buster. I would assume so. That's what they do a lot. KK one sec. Apparently this guy didn't have a tank LP on his bar. You waited to see if they would figure it out, and hey, it's fine. The game tells you to LB it in the mess. I didn't even read that. Don't tell me you have to put it on your hotbar, lol. Dot dot dot, no, I think it is true. All right, well I got a chance to to learn better. I got most of them. I gotta figure out those like sides and front um, a little bit better. All right, Our shoot my spells. I forget that my no thing is hilarious that we cannot follow. Even Aww, imagine how die. much we must have disappointed Xenos failing. Alright. He's disgusted, yeah. I bet. Aligia, this is... Is this it? No, this is just AoE. Oh, we got planets. We got planets. Knock back anywhere, I feel like, I'm sure. Elenko's, I think it's coming out of her mouth. I'm going to the side. Okay. Your suffering is at uh, an end. This is, um... Oh wait, no, this is something different. That was dumb. For some reason I thought that was the OV. That was literally the exact same thing. Seven seconds for it to go to waste. This is a kindness. Oh god. Yeah. What a sad, sad waste that went off. That like, terrible time. Oh well. All of us have known despair. Apple, oh, that's just the heads, alright. Keepers, tank busters, we'll get the main tank. More stuff. We have seen the end. Oh, we got planets. We got planets. All right, we got to knock back from that spot. The same end. Again Fatal. and again. A 
sorrow so deep, only emptiness remains. We have seen the end. There is no happiness in life.
we got a tank buster. Oh yeah, I guess it does. Energy of the bell, and then we'll have another one come off. So Dynamite! There we go. No matter. You oh yeah, it's our, <laughs> it's our our limit breaks are <laughs> dynamic too, right? Basically all of our echoey stuff is because of dynamic. Uh what is this? What do I do? Oh big planet, big planet. Oh, we got shit in the fucking days. Oh so Your time has come. It always does. Uh, we don't- oh, uh, uh, we don't have another tank on me. Dead? Are we dead? Maybe not. What is going on? <laughs> oh! Something! Oh, our comrades! Wait, where'd they come from? Oh, they're back! Oh, they shield us? Thanks, guys. What is this? I thought we died. Me too. <laughs> My youthful mother back. No! Talos, I'll tell you what. The pain. The loss. Oh, I thought she said Thangrid. We cannot she said suffer the it again. Um. Oh, the light. The light is so strong. We will stand against fate. No matter the cost. We've been here before. Many a time. Sure have. Thus do we know. To never give up. Oh my God. The hope will shine again. What we saw. What I saw. Is that her smash smash? Alright, next one we're gonna do the thing for. This can only Seven end in misery one. and desolation. No life, no star, nor the universe itself. We're getting worse. None should hope for better. Oh no, we're losing people. We're losing people. Silence the song of sorrow. Another planet flying at us. 
All right. There's no gear from this? Bullshit. Oh, player combination to my co-healer. Oh, thanks for coming along, Ido. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I think you didn't die and I didn't die on the second. Oh, no, I did die once. Uh, that one stupid planet got me. I got one commendation. I think I'll get all right for my first time. You finally understand it now, which is nice. Only took three runs. Sweet. Why'd you run it the second time? Out of curiosity. <laughs> Where are we? What is this place? Do I have to fight shit for you now? Oh. Xenos. Well, hello. Now I have to look at your ugly face again. Friends drag you along for theirs. Ah, uh, yes. Just like I dragged you along for this one. Makes sense. Can we just, like, not fight? Can you just die? Oh, wait. Medion. Well, you too. No matter where we flew, there was only darkness and loneliness and pain. You should have come back and seen our happiness. Zeno just creeping in the background, yeah. We couldn't find the answers Hermes yearned for. The answers he deserved. You should have just come back and been happy. Greetings, you who are my final encounter. I wish to hear your words. Share your feelings. Know your thoughts. Hear, feel, think. May we please be friends? We can be friends. Is that the meaning of life? Hear, feel, think? Might be. I'd be down for that. <clears throat> yes. I can see them. The memories of a long, long journey. So many people. The thoughts of them overflowing in your heart. What they live for. What gives their lives meaning. There was never a single answer. You gather pieces of happiness, precious and fragile, only to lose them. Then start again. On and on it goes, until death takes you into its gentle embrace. That which Hermes sent us to find was there all this time on a Theris. Yup. It wasn't always there. We created it together. Like a field of flowers, perhaps. At first, a single blossom. It spreads and takes on more colors. Sure. Thank you for guiding me here. To find these words at journey's end fills me with joy. And so, before I fall forever silent, there is one thing I must do.
No expression of regret will undo what my sisters and I have done, or restore what we have stolen. But if you would allow it, I would sing one last song. A song of the newfound joy that swells in my heart. Um, as long as you're not lying to me and you're not just gonna song, sing the song in the final, final days again. <laughs> Of the beauty of light when it shines across a dark and starless sea. Of a dream that from the soil of worlds now lost to sorrow, life will spring forth once more. Nourished by gentle rains and caressed by uplifting winds. A song of hope. Zeno's is still creeping in the background, isn't he? One day, life will fill the universe again. And Hermes will see this and smile. How, I do not know. But I do know that where there is a will, there is a way. After all, miracles happen every day, do they not? <laughs> I will create a path back to your ship, where your dear friends await. Hold in your heart your desire to return to them. Then follow my lead and walk forth. That hope will surely guide you true. You mean to return to the world where you are hailed as a hero. And where my friends are, yes. Hear me then. Not as a hero, but as simply you. I liked you better as Shinryu. As I learned in Alamigo, you are a formidable foe. Damn straight. Stronger than any I have faced. Against you, I need bring my all to bear. I need burn through the candle of my life. This is the sole pleasure I know. And it is the sole pleasure I have to share. I have many other pleasures, and uh, I don't need this one. In fact, it's not a pleasure at all. And so I come before you, 
to issue challenge and offer singular bliss. If you wish to walk away, I will not stop you. Can I just like leave you here on the edge of the universe? You value life. You do not burn yours save for reasons you deem worthy. Reasons such as those which brought you here. The salvation of a world and its people. The motives of a hero true. But there is more to you than that. You know this to be true. Be honest here? What do I have to be honest with? As surely as you know the thrill of pushing your body and soul to their limits. Of confronting ever mightier foes, dancing ever closer to the precipice. Wondering if this will be the one to finally, finally fill the void. No. Such pleasures. You seek for their own sake and no other reason. Is this not so, adventurer? I don't live for the fight. That I can't deny. Think what you will, but I'm not letting you leave this place. I've had enough of you. It ends here. Yeah. I've just had enough of him. It's the most true, true statement I can give. Finally mustered the desire to kill oh. me, have you? Oh, please. Please. I had the desire to kill you back when I killed you the first time. You just didn't have the decency to stay dead. My god. <sighs> Go on, then. Try and strike me down in this forsaken place. I shall return the favor. You were kind of cool when you showed up as Shinryu when I needed some help, but like... Now you're just not again. Same old Xenos. I let us indulge in the only worthwhile pursuit and burn our lives to their ends. Mm, your life. Your life, maybe. I'm gonna go on from here, but this this shall be the end of you. All right, but before I end Xenos for good, I need to take a quick three minute break. Uh, what's the weather here? Ultimatum. All right, fair enough. But yeah, I'll I'll be back and then I'll go kick some Xenos butt and then we'll uh, wrap this shit up. <laughs> All right, don't go anywhere. I'll be back shortly.
I am back. And I disagree that the first answer is the only true answer. It is not true for me. So, therefore, it's not true for Ari. All right. I just had the urge. I was like, I should probably save, shouldn't I? <laughs> That's not how this works. All right, Xenos. Can we be done with you? Once and for all. Like, literally, I just saved the world. Like, fighting you is so... So not what I care to do right now. I'm only fighting you because I'm tired of you. I want to be done with you. Come! My unicorn. Oh, right. I brought a smoothie and I meant to have some of it because I'm hungry. Oh, good. He wants to yammer first. You know, souls blaze with passion. The space comes to life with dynamics as your spirit burns in kind. Your souls burn brighter. Your power swells. Alright, screw you, Xenos. Hold nothing back. Push yourself to your limit and me to mine. Ah, uh, it's gonna be a knockback, right? Oh, uh, can I get knocked behind them? Nope, I need to be here so I don't get knocked away from them. So far, alright. Ha! Still fighting you, I see! For some reason I thought those were gonna come across. Judgment, bolt, don't be in water. Do I have six of Sparks of Hope? Hellfire! I do wanna be in water. I remember the Shinryu fight. Show me your vaunted Ockmorn, I want this. And this. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Exactly what I needed in my life. Soon you will know the full extent of Come my hither. Out. I mean... I don't want to. For the taking. Oh, oh, ow, oh god, oh god. Ow. Could I have seen that coming? I certainly Mine did not. For the taking. Oh, nope, nope. Get out of here. I'm scared for you. I don't want to be in front of you. Oh, what the heck's that thing? Your reflexes. Oh, oh, dear God. Apparently, I have bad reflexes. A test of your reflexes. Okay, well, I'm gonna run. Yep, okay. <laughs> Diamond dust. Okay. Um, I'm going sliding. Oh, okay. Uh, I would like to be here. Over here. Okay. A test what? I got petrified. 
crucified. Oh god. No match for me, Xenos. Ah, my soul. I expect this more. Burns. I spent all six of my cat lives. Oh fuck. Now. I know you feel it too. The inferno swelling within you. Let all creation be consumed by our ravenous fervor! Ugh. I have you! Ow. Ow. Do not tell me your life's fire is already spent. Once more, it mustn't end yet. Thank God, do I have to fight him like literally five more times after this one? Ethereal. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, um, ow, 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 ow. A test of your reflexes. Hmm? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I was so gone. I think that was a little too easy. Oh, God. Okay, out and in. A test of your reflexes! Oh, I'm out of here. Thank you for telling me when you're gonna do stuff. Basically, if he says something, just run the fuck away. Show me your vaunted fortitude. For the taking. I have you. further away from him. The last of me is spent. I'm just eat the dog. Now fall. Never. Never. This is my moment. Our moment. <laughs> Screw you, Zidos. Screw you. <laughs> Uh, 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 
<laughs> nice. Punch him! Punch him some more! Then it- ow. I'm a white maze, isn't that how I fight? Although it does feel good. <laughs> Peak anime. God, I thought I was gonna have to fight him like five times. Maybe it's not over. You gonna get up again, Xenos? I have to fight you more. Are we literally gonna fight until like we're both just like just like pawing at each other? Because we have no strength to do anymore. Stay down, you bastard! Don't make me kick your butt more. Was that a good enough fight for you? Did you enjoy that, Xenos? Did I give you what you wanted? <sighs> that I should lose again. Did it feel good? Disappointing. Why is that disappointing? Isn't that what you wanted? To get your butt kicked by me? That's what you were going for this whole time. I feel like this would feel weird if you were a Lollafell. I can't see a Lollafell kicking Xenos' butt. Just can't really picture it. Never have I understood those around me. Understood their obsessions. Besieged by their banality, the world is a mire of tedium and trivialities. But in these fleeting moments, there is a spark. Blinding. Brilliant. I had five of them still. No, I used one. Probably had four left. Gone. Too soon. What of you, my mirror? Born into this world, bestowed name, bid to seek out strife and adventure. Sleep, all right? He's not dead yet. I don't know if now's the right time to sleep. Was this life a gift? She was already sleeping. You can sleep now, though. 
this way. What's sparkling? Is it the Ragnarok? <laughs> sure is. Bye, Xenos. Hope I never see you again. <laughs> I'm glad Ido agrees with me. I must tend to. In your please someone can please <laughs> I'm alive guys don't worry about it no crying you can't leave us not like this I'll never forgive you. So oh, come on. Open your eyes and get up. Who's knocking now? Last time it was Xenos. Hi, guys. End credits. Are you... Are you with us? Oh, thank the heavens. For a moment we thought... Is everyone all right? Of course I'm alive. Am I really alive? What kind of question is that? After what you've done, you're the last person <laughs> to be asking that. <laughs> you... How can you keep your promise if you're not here? I'm still here, Graha. Stop fretting. Another fine show you've put on, my friend. A fine show indeed. What were you thinking, fighting alone? Never do that again. My poor heart couldn't bear it. Put yourself in our place. If you hadn't returned, how do you think we would feel? And if that sounds harsh, <laughs> it's because we care. Yeah, you do. We tended to thy wounds as best we could. But how is the pain? That is gladdening. Grievous as thine injuries were, however, I would counsel repose for a time. Nah, gladdening. there's no time for sleeping. Stop crying, Alice. There's nothing gladdening about this. When Meteon appeared in here and told us that you were right behind her, we all got our hopes up. But you never came. And when you finally deign to appear, you're within an ilm of your life. She is mad. It's only because she loves us. Damn you for making us worry. Anyway, well, the important thing is that you're all alive and in reasonably good health, and we mean to get you back that way. As for your earlier request, I'm quite certain we're in range to make contact now. 
Ah, excellent. Let us announce our return at once. <laughs> I hope you're ready. To be celebrated? I think I'll manage. <laughs> While you were unconscious, we set out from Ultima Thule, you see. Can you stand? If so, you may wish to see what's outside. I hope it's not the end of the world. Oh, it's so pretty. We saved the world, guys. We're home, my friend. We're home. The world in a few shards, that's true. No more despair. Well, there's still despair, but you know. Time to take a victory lap. Fair enough. They're all watching me come home. watching me too. He, we didn't see him like at all, did we? It is, it's us. It is. It's the Ragnarok. They're back. Thank heavens. Truly. They're coming in hot. Welcome home. Yes. <laughs> oh. It almost looked like she got pushed out of the way there. <laughs> I think she just turned. Crow, are you gonna let her beat you? the same voice for Hermes and Eamon. Oh, I guess when he 
was um, Finn Daniel, maybe is when he thought he had a different voice. <sighs> Fucking Xenos. <laughs> Well, there's definitely other people who've shown up more than once for different different voices. Welcome home! Although completely different people. Just landed it out in the water? Alright. I suppose that might be where we because they did move it before we took off, right? So maybe we took off from the water? credits they didn't show where it took off from yeah they didn't that's why I'm saying it might have been in the water oh now we get voice cast again first credits can be skip second credits should not wait why Sleeping way is Ari. Or these are different voices that weren't in the first one. Mm, I usually skip it when it goes to black, when it's just black. But uh, that's why I'm confused, because that's like second, that's usually second credits. Minphilia! Oh. Yeah, I don't usually skip. Because if nothing else, we just sit here and talk about all the all the things we just saw. Honestly, though, could have done without the Xenos fight at the end. I think some people liked it, because I saw a lot of people gushing over a solo fight on Reddit. I didn't read any of it because it was spoilers. I assume it was that fight. Um, it was it was kind of fun, but I wish I I feel like ending it all by fighting Xenos. Other than the fact that like I'll never have to see him again because we left him on the edge of the universe. Uh, that warms my heart a little bit. <laughs> but fighting him, meh. You're weird and you like na <laughs> names. Like you said, Xenos at times felt like an afterthought that they threw in because his story had to be wrapped up. Yeah, but like, they could have just never brought him back. Like, I feel like most of that could have happened um, without Xenos. I mean, they needed someone for Fan Daniel to talk to, but like, they could have just not killed uh, who Varos. And it probably would have been fine. <laughs> But yeah, they also like, yeah, it seemed like they forgot about him for a long time. That's why like I was not expecting him to show up because I just like forgot about him. And like so much more important stuff was happening. I was like, I really don't care about the Xeno story anymore. Like way more important stuff is is going on. Oh, Gaius. Back in his, back in his empire days. I was also thinking, like, Xenos kind of sucks, because not only did we kick his butt, but we kicked his butt right after doing, like, another massive fight. And, I mean, he was kind of there, but he just, like, flew around. Like, what effort is that? Back in his such devastation days. Yeah. So, like, we were already worn out. Oh, thank Red. Back in his, uh, his early days. When he was all flirty with people before he got all, like, all sad and shit. And serious. Thancred's too serious these days. I miss, I miss old Thancred. So, nobody really died this expansion. For all that it was really sad times well I guess some people died but not no one that we cared about like what was the who's the biggest K 
character that actually died. I can't even think of. Oh, um. Ahuan was probably the biggest character that died. But even him, he like he wasn't that big. We only just met him and we barely knew him. I was sad that he died, but like. The Scions made it through intact, which you absolutely did not. Yeah. No, I was I was sure we'd lose like one or two of them. The fact that we we didn't lose any of them is quite frankly pretty Im impressive. I will give you that. Yeah. Aw, oh, Manbrito and Uriange. Aw. Yeah, I was I was sure we were gonna lose somebody important, but we didn't lose anybody important. There was a small part of me that thought like they could in, they could in fact kill off all the Sion. <laughs> we start a new story and make some new friends, but uh, I didn't think that would happen. I I didn't discount that it was possible, but uh, I I assumed I knew that we'd save them and somehow like there was just it was too quick how they how they went out. Aw, Yushtola. See, this would be much sadder here if they were all dead. Um, instead, it's just like, oh, yep. There's there's little Yushtola. <laughs> but yeah, can anybody think of anybody bigger than Ahuan that died? Because I honestly can't, but I have a bad memory, so quite possibly. I mean, we did lose all the, the ancients, but they were basically all dead anyways, so that wasn't... That, aw, Graha. Looking all cute. Poor ancients. Yeah, but I mean, they were all dead anyways. Well, actually, no, Vanau wasn't dead. Vanau wasn't dead. Now she's dead, too. They're all gone. But Van Daniel's gone. Well, I mean, technically... Summed it up. Evan summed it up the best of times past. I mean, technically, there are some Asians kicking around. Are there not, though? Because wasn't, um... Or did we actually kill them? The ones that were in the... Um, the raid quest. Because Gaia... Gaia is technically an Asian, isn't she? Sort of. I guess, though, the ones that were sundered will still, like, exist. Much like we exist as um, as M, but they won't ever become Asians. So their souls, some of their souls still exist. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Some of their souls are still are kicking, um, but they'll, they'll never be Asians again because there's no one. Well, did they need the the unsendered to become As to make them Asians and give them their memories back? I don't think that's something that just like happens. With Zodiac gone, it's not as if they have anything to do. Yeah, that's true. I'd say it'd kind of be cool if we meet, like, some of them someday. But honestly, the cool one, like, the only one I really care about would be um, Emmett and Hith. And both of them are technically dead, so... Um... Or they're they're good and dead. There's no there's no sunder of them. Uh, I'm pretty sure yes, you need the the under unsundered to recruit them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a thing too. Oh, Estinian. I like Estinian. He's so badass. I enjoy that he's always leaning against walls too. <laughs> Gives him some. Gives him some character. His character is leans against walls, but uh, I'll take it. And he's always crumpy. But yeah, no more unsundered. No more primals. Well, no more main primals. But it, it they basically were saying that the Asians were the reasons why any of the primals existed, right? Will we ever have any primals again? Like, what are, what are we going to fight after this? Like, honestly, I don't know what's left. We <laughs> we defeated, like, basically everything. Oh, I think Ido mentioned... Somebody mentioned that there's still another... There's another dragon out there that we've not met. But I think we're, we've had our fill of fighting dragons, too. Oh, Harshapont. 
dimensional gods? What do you mean by that? Like stuff from 13? Or something else? Or from other shards? Or, um... The multiverse? What's the multiverse, though? Oh, Amrick and his dad, who we killed. Oh, I was gonna say Zakaruda, but no, that's Shiva. Do you guys have any speculation on, on what's going to happen next? Where the story is going to go? I mean, it literally could go anywhere. Like, clean slate here. Uh, they basically... I don't think of... I can't think of any loose ends if not tied up. You can't guess. That's fair. But yeah, we... Like, this tied up all the loose ends, did it not? I don't think there's anything kicking around that we... We don't know about. I wonder if there's any way... Well, I don't even know if that's some... I was thinking of it. I wonder if there's any way to restore the, um, the shards that got rejoined. But I don't know. I don't... I don't see why you would do that. That's the only thing I can think of is that there's like... We're still sundered. Like, we still have all the shards, reflections, whatever you want to call them. Like, our world's not whole. Um, but, I mean, that's still related to this, and I think we're moving away from that. But they did say we're going to explore the other, the other shards. Well, it seemed heavily to imply that. So, I mean, the next expansion could just take us to a different, a different shard. Like, which ones are left? Do we even know? I don't know which numbers are left. Other than the first. Um, on the bright side, no one else is bent on rejoining right now, so the shards should be safe. Yeah. That's true. Like, the ones that are left should be good. But I'm just wondering if there's anything we can do for the ones that uh, aren't so good. Oh, I wonder if there's any way we could um, save the 13th. Because it's still there, right? It's just, they made it so it's like, like it was unable to rejoin because they screwed it up. And it's just full of, like bad stuff but like could we go and it still exists so there, there's more of a likelihood that we could do something for the 13th than uh than anything anything else Are the 12 perhaps um, somehow related to the shards? Because there's 12 of them, right? Because there's 13. Or is there 13? Might explore Dynamis more. Yeah. I don't know what more there is that we need to explore, though. Although I suppose it's a way to unlock more power. And we need more power. We're going to go forth and I The thing is, I just can't imagine what we need more power for. <coughs> <laughs> like, they kind of alluded to to that with um, the Omega part of the story. Sorry, I'm dying. <laughs> that they, saw, they, they sought ever stronger foes so they could get stronger, but when they beat the strongest of the strong, then they're just like, well, what was the point of that? We have all this power and nothing to fight. I feel like that's where we're at now. Like, we're so strong because we literally went to the edge of the universe and, like, saved saved the entire universe and we we fought both of the original primals and defeated them like what do we need to get stronger for the meta explanation is that mmo gameplay needs you to become more powerful to keep playing the game yeah but in terms of the story like what could possibly challenge us now honestly i just like ugh, i don't even know What's going to happen 
happened with the Empire? I mean, Garlemald's basically, like, done, but there's still Garleans. Are they going to rebuild and maybe join join the Eorzean Alliance and be at peace with us? And I feel like they... Garlean needs a lot... <laughs> um... Garlemald needs a lot of work. Yeah, that's that's probably where we're gonna start in the in the patches, honestly. Uh, <laughs> Gar Garlemald uh, is uh, not in great shape right now. It uh, it needs some work. I mean, we need to like settle the people that are left, the Garleans, but like all their conscripts need to be returned to like their home and and re reintegrated in their original societies or reintegrated into Garlean society if that's not possible or not reintegrated but integrated properly into Garlean yeah that that would probably be my best guess as to what we're gonna do first in the patches that is that's something I would say is probably not completely <laughs> resolved at this point <laughs> Garlemald. <coughs> that could definitely keep us keep us busy for a while. <laughs> he in, why were you never here? Why did you not come help us? I guess he needed to stay and lead Doma and stuff. I suppose he sent us his coolest warriors. Sadu. Basically just Sadu. She's the coolest. Mmm, there's stuff like Baja and Dalmasca. Yeah. I feel like that ties into it though, because Baja and Dalmasca, a lot of their issues had to do with Garlemald. So like that stuff's all all tied together. We also still are working on integrating with the Beastman tribes. We've made some progress there, but uh, I don't think that works fully, fully completed yet. Ugh, that's I punch you in the face! There. My, uh... I did at least get to punch Xenos in the face, but it would have really been nice to punch Asahi slash Van, da Van Daniel in the face. I'm so mad that Asahi came back. Of all the people, of all the people, why? Why did it have to be Asahi? I mean, like, it made sense because he stole his body, but, like, <sighs> couldn't he have stolen someone's cooler's body? These credits are really wrapping up like the whole game. We're going through all the expansions. Have they said anything like if we're getting a deep dungeon this expansion or um, a Eureka slash Bajja area for relics. I'm curious too how um, the raid story is going to tie tie in because usually it's somewhat related. And what the raid is Pandemonium, isn't it? Am I correct in that? I think so. Pandemonium better not be Xenos. Causing pandemonium out on the the edge of the the world. Keep watching? Okay. Alright. I'll keep watching. <coughs> no spoilers. No, I've had enough of your face, Xenos. 
Ooh, your face. How are we at? Okay, five and a half hours into stream. Yeah, there's no way I would have finished this yesterday, even if I'd played. Um, I would have ended, like... Because I would have only had, like, three more hours, so I would have ended yesterday at a really awkward spot. I think it worked out much better ending yesterday early um, and doing this all today. I, I think that worked out a lot better. Even if certain people are sad that they missed it because they're working today. <laughs> There's always the VODs. Why am I forgetting the name of our our fairy? I'm drawing a blank here. Other than Titania, but like their other name. Feoul, yes. Thank you. Thank I wasn't anywhere close to that. Aurene. I was gonna say I was really hoping for a time jump so the twins can uh, can grow up, but I suppose there's nothing. There's nothing to say. There's not going to be a time jump when we when we finally wrap this up. Oh, Heidelin and Zodiac. Oh, how little we knew back then. How little we knew when we, fr when we first found out that they were actually primals. We were so, so clueless about how it all worked. Oh, and Heidel and Stompin. Stompin Zodiac over there. Why is Thancred covering up his face? He's all bloody. Is that when he got his butt kicked by, um... What's his face? <laughs> Our massive golem. I'm so glad we got to go back in time to the Unsunded World. Aw, oh, Emmett. Never change. grumpy original Emmett. I feel like he was a lot more fun in the present. Although, I mean, before we killed him. He sounded less sarcastic in the past. Yeah, fair. Yeah, fair. He was like, he was just very serious. He was very serious. He didn't have time for, for bullshit. Oh, Ardbert. I miss Ardbert. I guess Ardbert is always with us, though. I'm thinking back to the ending of um, Shadowbringers and how like good that was and like how epic it felt and it all seems so like trivial now compared to Endlocker. <laughs> Not that it wasn't good, but it just like just 
seems so trivial. Everything does. That's what I'm worried about what's going to come next. That's going to somehow not just feel trivial. And it might. Although, but I, I do think, I do think wrapping up Garlemald. Healing, healing Garlemald. Making a new city. Figuring out all that mess. That will certainly keep us busy for a while. Hello, Arthas. Can I help you? What? You wanna come up here? Here, I'll make space for you. Come up. No, you're just gonna sit there? Rub your face against my computer tower? Is it yours now? <laughs> uh, supposed to be all new stuff from here. I imagine we do see some things with Emmett, Emmett mentioned rather than retreading. Well, but like... How do we just jump into all new stuff? Like, it can't just like... Well, unless it does a time jump. I'm still, I'm still holding out for a time jump. But barring a time jump, I don't see how we don't... Um, we don't deal with Garlemald in some way. Holy crap, look how long my hair is. I have so much hair. I hear you, Arthas. Come up here. Come up here. No? <laughs> I don't know what you want, silly butt. I want a time jump though. Then we can do whatever. Anything we want. And they can be like, oh, you had all your adventures with Graha. And the twins are older now. And we've had our peace. We've had our five years of peace. And now, now something big and bad's happening again. Not really a warrior of light problem anymore. They'll rebuild in similar fashion. Ishgard firmament did, but that's it. Maybe. I mean, we can't solve all of Garlemald's problems, but I just to think that we would just like wipe our hands of it and say like that's someone else's business. We had our hand in like a lot of political stuff. I think I don't think we'll we'll just completely forget. I I hope it's not like all that happens. I hope it's just like sort of something that happens alongside of some other important stuff, but uh I think we won't completely abandon Garlemald. I'm an adventurer, I'll leave the politics to the politicians. I mean, we've been in in politics a lot. Arthas. Hi. You're so cute. Now you're going to come up, push my chair over. <laughs> Was that, um, Zodiac? I think that's Zodiac. Boomer. Arthur, this guy can be on screen. People can see you in your cuteness. <laughs> Only three motion actors? I guess you don't need that many.
Arthy Poo. I don't know what the next part of the cuts the credits is gonna be that's so unskippable. Are you coming up here yet? No, you just wanna get pet. Okay. <laughs> I feel like he probably is not going to like the feel of my uh, my onesie. But I feel like I'm wearing pajamas. I feel like it looks like I'm wearing like a robe too. But it actually has some shape to it. <laughs> a little bit of shape to it. But it's all like velvet. Oh, real Emmett. Arthas, what are you doing on my green screen? Are you going to attack me? Meaning Hith finally too is pretty great. And Hermes, even though we did knew nothing about Hermes before. And he did cause the final days, but uh, I still liked him. He was pretty cool. He was too pure, he couldn't handle he couldn't handle the darkness. And it broke him and Minion. And Vana, she was pretty badass. Vana was a lot more badass than I expected her to be. Nope. I hope to never see him again. Never ever. Yeah, he just, he definitely was like the weakest part of the expansion. That part is what made me cry. That was the part that got me the most emotional. Uriange and Brita's parents. Oof. That was probably the saddest part for me. And then the other part that really got me was uh, Vina at the end, like as when it was showing Vina as the final days are happening and like sundering the world and blah blah blah. Her whole like when she went started turning all like black. I don't really get it, but I was sad there. But it was just like a really long emotional part. That didn't affect you as much, actually, maybe because when Brita was never as important to you. I mean, I remember being really sad when she died. Like, they they made you care about her just... Because just, I didn't care about her when we first met her. Because I think she came in, like, a, a patch before they killed her off. She wasn't around for very long. Maybe a patch or two. But And she was just somebody. I was like, oh, yeah, she's cool, but, like, I don't really know her. That's fine. And then they, like, make you get to know her and care about her just to kill her off. But mostly, like, I don't know, it got me more because, like, the characters were really emotional about it. And other people being real sad is also sad. That part of the MSQ left you a little cold. You don't feel like she stayed around long enough? Yeah. That's fair. It's crazy, though, that her, like, she's still, like, relevant to the story all these years later. Oh, Median. Median was so, is so cute. I'm sad that she was the reason for the final days. Which I didn't expect when we first met her. Who would have thought this cute little familiar is the harbinger of doom? Now that you think of it, you're surprised Papalimo didn't get more of a shout-out. Yeah, he did get a little bit of a mention at some point, didn't he? But, like, I I don't think Lise has, like, really unresolved feelings towards Papalimo, though. Whereas Uriange 
had unresolved stuff with Arian with Minbrita. I mean, he was in there. They did definitely, they did definitely like to remind us this this expansion about all the people who died before. Maybe they ran with that too much. They were like, "Oh crap, we're not killing off anybody important. Let's uh, let's march out all the other people that we've killed off that's important." Uh, we got Minbrita's parents and harsh font references were constant. Yeah. But Lee's wasn't really around. Like, who's going to make Papalima? Although, you'd think the other Scions would remember Papalima more. Like, he wasn't just... He wasn't just with Lee's. Like, he was a member of the Scions. And didn't he... He died saving us from Shinryu, did he not? He was like binding Shinryu, so Shinryu didn't like kill us all. Well, we had time to like get Omega out, which was a bad idea, but uh, sort of worked out. If I recall correctly, I think some <laughs> happened somewhere along those lines. Oh, are we done with pictures? Does that mean I can skip the rest of this? Now there's no pretty pictures to look at. What do you guys say? Skip? Yes? Anybody have objections? I'm skipping. Wait. I know I'm probably pretty close to the end. Uh, what if we just change the scrolling speed? There. Wait, what are the other options? Hide scrolling text? Oh. Huh. Pause scrolling. Eh, let's just skip. Yeah, no, you could do that. I oh, know, I forgot. Alright, what do we got next? It's Ari! Wait. More credits? How do they not end? Us and the Scions. Are you dying, Arthas? Oh! Yay! All the ancients. My whole gang. What, we're just walking past them? Oh, of course Vanna looks back. Arthas, your butt's in the way. Warrior of Light, Ariavana! That's so cool! That's so cool. Arthas almost ruined that for me. He put his butt in front of it. Arthas. That's not my name. <laughs> WTF. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. All right. Dearest mother. Dearest father. We almost died. This letter will be the very last oh. that I write to you from the rising stones. Where are we going? Or where are they going? As I commit these words to parchment, <gasps> I fondly recall my journey as a scion. Are we just banning the scions? I mean, I guess we don't necessarily From the time have... I first walked into the Order's former halls, Skip to the days, time I ban. set forth to forestall <laughs> the final days. At the farthest reaches of the Sea of Stars, we fought the battle of our lives. Fought Minbrita. against despair itself. A veritable maelstrom of it, fed by the resignation that dwelled in the hearts of beings not so unlike ourselves. 
true end of the silence I can meet the DPS chest. Full oft have I harbored the same malaise. Have I been brought oh, to my the knees? Braves. Crushed by the weight of sorrow and defeat. Convinced that I will never rise again. God damn Elbert. However, I'll say I'll I have also soon. known many moments of unbridled <laughs> joy and happiness. By this truth do I find hope within, blooming resplendent like the Elpis flower. And thus do I endure. Oh, she do I look us. forward to creating more memories with my friends and loved ones? But not in the Rising Stones. For from these fertile seeds, yet more hope shall spring forth. And they will grow to become shining lights that illuminate the dark. Thus believing, I leave the rising stones behind, as will my comrades. Where are we going? What are we doing? For, as we have decided, after careful deliberation. That. Scions are no more. We are disbanding <gasps> the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. They didn't even kill off anybody and we're still disbanding? There you are, Alphano. Is he just like writing a fanfic about how this all ended? And we're not really disbanding them? Everyone is already gathered in the foyer. My apologies. I'll be right there. At least, that is what the story will be. Hmm. Why are we pretending to disband the Scions? Sorry to keep you all waiting. What could you possibly have left to do now? Write a letter to your parents. Oh, underground. Just a letter. I imagine it will be a while before we can gather like this again. So it must be, if we're to keep up appearances. From now on, it falls to the Grand Company of Eorzea and its allies to deal with the realm's crises. We need to find a new realm in crises. Meanwhile, we shall return to our erstwhile ways. You going back into the rising... <laughs> the waking sands, Ariadne? <laughs> Retreating from plain sight to take our place in the shadows once more. <laughs> Fix your own problem. Indeed. For the foreseeable future, I expect that we must work independently as we seek out problems that want for solving. But a day will come when we face another great challenge, and we will face it together, as we always have. In 7.0, probably. As much as I look forward to that day, I do hope it doesn't come anytime soon. <laughs> That's fair. Well, formal association or no, if any of you should require my services, you need but ask. Oh, I need your services, Asinian. Can we hang out? I'll be glad to keep my lance arm honed. I'll hold you to that. 
So you had better keep your link <laughs> pearl on hand. Don't throw that shit away there. <laughs> So you really mean to stay, Tataru? Oh, someone has to keep the Rising Stones in proper order. And even a super-secret organization requires a super-secret base of operations. I don't think your original headquarters are all that super-secret. <laughs> To the rest of the world, it will be naught more than a workshop for Eorzea's foremost up-and-coming artisan. Ah, uh, that's fair. If you thought our coffers were full to bursting before, just wait till I can devote myself wholly to the crafts. <laughs> 7.0 will be a crafting Plotting adventure? Plotting to build a mercantile empire to rival that of Lord Lodorito, are we? <laughs> I, for one, look forward to your future successes, Tataru, as do I our next meeting. And with that, I believe it is past time you all made ready to depart. Leave no preparations undone or words unsaid, all right? Now, off with you. Before I speak to anybody, I have to pay you real bad, so <laughs> I'm going to take a three-minute break. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back shortly. That was you, Winter? <laughs> I did not see you at all. <laughs> Where are you? Are you back this way? Where are you? Will I find you if I go back? Is that green thing you? Green diapers. Green thing you and I. Wait, are you running away from me? Or am I actually going this way? Come back. I was gonna say maybe we're in a different region, but no, we wouldn't have been able to cast us. <laughs> Winter, where are you? Winter? Green thing you. Should I go back? Stop being such a dick. Winter, you look cold. I don't think you got the memo that you're supposed to dress warmly when you uh, travel. <laughs> Why is this my screen? Can I not really see that like that? What is that from? Your emote, your emote is that. What? How did you get over the wall? The invisible wall. That's pretty impressive. Wow, 
God to his word is a table. Jacket. Don't you want to wear Zodiac's jacket? Ugh. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> we love it. Okay, why didn't I move down to this button? There we go. Oh, it's so cute. I'm back. Alright, who do we talk to first? Start over here. Oh. get a private moment apparently. Ari, hast thou spoken with our comrades? Nope, you're the first. Though this parting be not forevermore, tis nonetheless occasion for sorrow. A king to a pixie's path, the navigation of such farewells is, per is a perilous endeavor indeed. For their part, however, the Loprips embark on a new beginning. Though bereft of its purpose as a vessel, the moon yet remaineth hospitable for the creatures of Atheris. Thus do our lunar visitors convene with the forum, intent on assigning some new and beneficial role to our solitary satellite. Yet ere that may come to pass, there is much and more each party must learn of the other, a process which doth promise to be eventful indeed. Oh yeah, the moon. We do some fun things with the moon, too. To that end, a cadre of Loperips Loperips half gleefully dispersed across our lands in the name of mutual understanding. So we're going to find them everywhere. Hydaelyn, tis said, did imbue them with her love for all things born of the star. And tis Vanaz's no own nature, I believe, which doth manifest in this irrepressible, inexhaustible curiosity of theirs. Having witnessed that which they strove to achieve, I wish more, most keenly for their long labors to be rewarded, that their abiding affection for man result in a boon for all. Moreover, I hope to continue our acquaintance and share in such knowledge as they say fit to impart. Acquaintance? I call it friendship. You are the first to truly understand them. Sure. Oh no, I feel friendship yet yeah, with the Loperids. Dost thou think so? You're the only one who spent time with them. The Loperids are currently possessed of unique outlook, and it hath been my pleasure to act as their facilitator upon this star. Mayhaps I might yet serve as bridge between betwixt them and our fellow man, as Minbrito once did for me. Ah, but I shall digress no further. This day should belong to the signs of the seventh dawn, to mine incomparable companions. Oft times hath mine reticence caused thee grief, and mine actions spurred allies to suspect betrayal. And yet, here amongst you I still stand. No amount of words could express my gratitude for thine acceptance and forgiveness. Thus instead I do proffer my humble support. Be it unto the deepest abyss or the highest heaven, even if I must needs founder cross stormy seas, Ever shall I answer thy summons. I'll say. Is she gonna express her love for us? Ari, seen to your preparations, have you? Uh, have I? I'm just making another sweep of my belongings. Wouldn't do to find I've forgotten something halfway to my destination. Oh, in case you hadn't heard, we received new reports detailing the devastation caused by the final days. It appears the situation is gravest in the land surrounding the bounty, where the sky first began to burn. Where the heck is the bounty? After that, the calamity was observed in the far north, in Garlemald and the frozen lands on. Oh, is that Thavnir? We also had reports of the heavens catching fire in isolated locations, one of which was an area in the northern empty. Had our quest taken any longer, Charlie and two may have come under threat. Thank goodness it's over now. To be sure, blasphemies and lesser beasts may still be roaming about, but to these localized crises we should, should be well within our capabilities of each nation to handle on their own. The scions are no longer needed. Which isn't to say we won't help out when we can, of course, as individuals. No more of this order business. 
For my part, I'll be heading to Garlemald with Elfino. They were among the worst affected and still need all the help they can get. And that's why we'll go to Garlemald to see them and we'll get caught up in rebuilding. Alphano will definitely get involved with the politics of rebuilding. It won't be easy. An inevitable part of aiding those in need is coming face to face with tragedy. Knowing it doesn't make it any easier though, that'll that'll curse my weakness. My inability to fix every problem and save every lost soul. But no matter how much it hurts, I won't give up. I'll do what I can for as many people as I can, begrudging no effort. And should I find myself discouraged, I'll remember you, think back fondly to one of your many moments of triumph, and the accompanying determined expression. Even those that still annoy me in retrospect, like when you activated the teleporter without warning. Wait, are you saying I annoyed you, Alice A? I saved your goddamn life. Our, and should you hear about me, I want you to remember too. Remember that I'm out there somewhere trying my very best. I look forward to hearing all about the legendary Alice A. Air. Think you can keep up with me? No. First one. That's cute. Not that I'm trying to become famous or anything. That being said... The next time we meet, I'll be vastly improved, so don't be surprised when you find yourself marveling at me. Aww. I understand that following thy class with Xenos, the teleportation device thou had discarded fell to thee from on high. To return to thee in such a manner, I did confer with Wolfson and Bloida, yet they insist the device was possessed of no such capacity. "'Twas a miracle befitting the nature of that place, where emotion becometh tangible reality. Whence then arose this timely wonder, thine ardent wish, or another's fervent prayer?" Hmm. I hadn't really given that much thought. Hmm, did I forget to mention anything? Ah, uh, yes, the Hanish envoy who came to see Astinian also bore a letter from Matsya. He writes that Maven and Kerasaf's little girl is doing well, and he often goes to visit her. It won't be easy growing up without her parents, but her fellow villagers watching over her. I dare to hope she won't want for warmth as she grows up. What do Alien and uh, Ilsidor have to say? There is not but chaos since the Talofbaroi first appeared. Towers, lunar primals, the Empire, the final days. Yet we have weathered it all and lived to see the sun rise on a new day. And now that peace has returned, we can finally, I can finally resume my travels with my grandfather. Perhaps we will first go to Kugane to relax in the Bokaisen Hot Springs. That might be nice. Of course, my journey will not simply be for pleasure. I will collect information on the territories as I travel. Hmm, perhaps I shall visit, visit Naxia via Doma. I mean, if you go to Kugane, it's not that far. You were but an amateur adventurer when we first met, but look at you now. You've grown into quite a fine young lass, just as I always knew you would. One might say I ought to settle down in my old age, but seeing you now has set my adventurous spirit ablaze once more. But the first journey I set out on will be a long-awaited hot springs tour with my dear friend Homei. And your granddaughter? Oh, Ari, pray forgive me for delaying the gathering. I was writing a letter, you see, to my parents. As busy as father has been tending the aftermath of the exodus, he has been good enough to show concern for the scions. And besides, I've made them worry enough for a lifetime. Henceforth, I will endeavor to write as often as I am able. A little effort to set their minds at ease while we continue to be away from Charlian. Both Alice and I are off to assist Garlem with Garlemald's recovery, you see. Though uncertainty remains over what will become of the nation, we cannot well leave the capital in its present state. What I said. We will rejoin those members of the Ilsebard contingent still stationed there. Lucy and Maxima held in the relief efforts, with support from our allies, the people of Garlemald among them. They will gradually be joined by those who have finished treating the tempered across the land. 
Lest you misunderstand, we do not seek redemption for failing Lucina and her sister. That, that is a burden what we must always bear. Nay, we go because of the truth of Lord Quintus's words. The truth that whatever ideals individuals may espouse, nations are not moved to action unless they stand to benefit. For the foreseeable future, the fallen empire will be at the mercy of both internal and external forces. And though I do not doubt the intentions of their contingent with greater powers involved in the relief efforts, our allies may well find themselves drawn into political agenda. In going, we seek to ensure that the needs of the people come first, to understand their hearts, that we might better help them begin anew. You'd best write me too, yes. Um, I'll visit. I want to say both of these. I'll visit. How will they write to me? How do they know where I am? Oh, I do have a mailbox at my house, though. By all means, I'm so glad I would be for your visit. And I believe I speak for Alice as well. For fairly long as I've been in Eorzea, you've been at my side, watching over me in good times and in bad. How many times have we gathered to share tidings? None could possibly keep count. The world is changing and will continue to do so. Yet no matter what the future brings, I hope that I can ever look to you. In good times and in bad, as de a dependable comrade and dear friend both. Thank you, Ari, from the bottom of my heart. Kryle, what are you up to? I was wondering how there were eight, because we only ever had seven for battling. But Kryle makes eight. Oh, Ari, how are you feeling? Any lingering aches or pains? Yes, <laughs> all of them. I can't apologize enough for sending Zemo Xenos to find you in Ultima's Thule. When he came to me in Charlene, I was truly torn. As ever, there was only one thing on his mind. Forced to make a decision, I reasoned that if he would not be deterred from seeking you out, he might at least aid us in our cause, and so I struck a bargain. In the end, he was true to his word, and you defeated him despite your earlier exertions. But knowing the state you were found in, it could have ended very differently. My decision almost cost you your life, and no words could express the remorse I feel. Yeah, but without him, we may have uh, lost everyone's lives, so... It worked out. You did the right thing. I won't lie. I thought that it was for me. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, I thought that was it for me, no. Okay, I couldn't read. It's a relief to hear you say that. Thank you. Time and time again, I've been made feel woefully inadequate. I wasn't much use in battle, nor could I face the forum without my nerves getting the better of me. It always fell to you and the others. At least you're cute, Kryle. I must and will do better. And I shall begin with the restoration of the students of Baldessian. Through our work, Charlene will strengthen its ties with other nations that we may be better prepared to face what threats arise in the future. Of course, this isn't something I can accomplish alone, but thankfully I have the staunches of help in Raha and Ojika and others remaining, other remaining members. Together, we will continue Grandfather's work. As before, certain commissions will take us to dangerous locales, and we may need to call upon seasoned adventurers. In such times, might you be willing to assist us? Not because you feel obliged, mind you, but because you feel a lure for the task itself. Marvelous! Should something of interest arise, I shan't hesitate to reach out to you. Until that day, I shall endeavor to become more dependable comrade. I've been keeping Arnvald abreast of the situation in letters. I was kind of hoping we get to talk to Arnvald, but unfortunately he could not be here today. When is it when it is convenient for both of us, we should pay him a visit. Yes, we should. Oh, I should mention that Aaronville has kindly <laughs> Aaronville and Arnvald, they're so so similar their names, has kindly agreed to share aught of potential interest he hears from his fellow gleaners. In exchange, we will help them to restore the archives to their proper order. With the exodus abandoned, all items must be returned whence they came, a task no less grueling than their removal. Even now, Ojika assists in the sorting of arcane artifacts. Oh yes, not only is he a skilled administrator, he's also the certified appraiser specializing in relics from the 5th Astral Era. 
Despite his qualifications, though, he seems none too keen on the work. I shall have to go and relieve him as soon as I can. Who the heck is this guy? Arnvald has pressing matters according to him anyways. A pity he couldn't be here to witness this monumentous occasion, though he bids me tell you congratulations. As for me, well, once the science disband, I intend to resume my work at Ralgar's Reach. I suppose Arnvald will need support in Girabania too, though he would not admit as much. Well, he will have my help whether he wants it or not. Ryle. Feels a little strange now with me Link Pearl's gone quiet. Since my unique skills are no longer needed for your safety of the star and all, that I'm going to become an adventurer like you, traveling far and wide. Oh. I, ma I imagine I'll be start by heading to Mercidia or the New World. Just need to find myself a ship first. Good luck, Ryle. What are you doing, Tataru? Go on, Ari. Don't miss a chance to say a word to each of our friends. After all you've been through together, I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Aragmas. I can scare, still scarce believe our battle extended to the ends of creation, but seeing the Scion's mission to completion was both an honor and a privilege. As for myself, I've spent quite a while away from home, so I think I'll return to Lim's Lamenta for now. And once I get there, my first order of business will be drowning a pint or three of the drowning wench. The exploits of you and your companions are truly an inspiration to us all. I've never felt more compelled to hone my own skills, though I one day might be able to accomplish such heroic deeds. Ergmas means to visit Limsa Lamensa, and I will join him and continue my search. I know not when we will meet again, but please take care of yourself. I don't remember who these guys are. I vaguely recall her, but this dude? No. Tis a shame the Scions are disbanding. Even if only in name, I still fondly recall the day you granted me my uniform. The memory remains vivid, yet it feels like a lifetime ago. I considered returning to the Adder's Nest, but since I've come this far, I've decided I ought to continue my journey and venture to Garlemald instead. I can't hold a candle to the infamous monstering minstrel, but I thought I might share with the Garleans the tale of your epic deeds, extend to them an olive branch of song, if you will. Hmm, alright. Vancred. Uh, our champion and savior, I was beginning to think my chance for an audience would never come. Ahem, that sounded more amusing in my head. Speaking of heads, I was worried about yours, and the rest of you for that matter. On the mend, I trust? Glad to hear it. You were in a bad way, and healing magics are no. I'm impressed by how swiftly you recovered. Then again, tis hardly the first time you've cheated death. Your strength of will has never failed to astonish me. Look at what you've accomplished. Medion defeated, her song of oblivion cut short, the source and all her reflections delivered from the final days. If you had faltered at the last, then all hope would have been lost, but you held fast. Now Reen has Tamora to look forward to, and I could ask for no greater gift than that. As for a lesser gift, however, the next time you see her, I would appreciate you not describing my travel plans with Uriange as aimless wandering. We have a purpose in roaming, after all, keeping an eye on things in the absence of the scions on the world stage. There'll never be an end to little problems that go untended by nations. We will do our best to help out where and when we can. Which I suppose is approach not far removed from aimless wandering when you get down to it. Perhaps you could tell her I'm faring well, leave it at that, eh? I don't, I think she's going to want more details than that. No need to mention this feeling of being uprooted. I've never been one to stand still for long, but when I think of home, tis the rising stones which comes to mind. How many times have we set out from this base, thence to return when the work was done? On the day the scions came together, I only hoped for Minfilia to find a place where she belonged, but never did I expect to find one here my, for myself. Indulge me, Ari. I have a question for you, and I ima and imagine Minfilia herself is asking. Are you glad you joined the Scions? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Best decision I've never made. There's never been a dull moment, that's for certain. Best decision I've ever made. I I can honestly say the same. But all good things must come to an end, at least for a time. Should you need a helping hand for infiltration or reconnaissance, you know who to ask. I'll come running, and you'll likely get a certain funny-talking fortune-teller into the bargain. 
Flamin. The salvation Menphilia dreamed for Eorzea comes closer to reality with every step the Scions take. Yes, the world may still be in the throes of change, but it is improving. I see it happening day by day, and I sit here praying that whatever new roads you walk will bring you the wonder and joy you deserve. Should you need a rest in between your journeys, do come and join me on the terrace for old time's sake. In case you've not heard, the Waking Sands will be converted into a warehouse. We'll be keeping the place free of rats and cobwebs, so it can still serve as an outpost should the need arise. Considering Tataru's ambitions, however, I'd not be surprised if she claimed the lot for her budding empire. <laughs> Hi, Estenian. You just gonna stare at me? Are we having a staring contest? I bet I can out stare you. <laughs> How long is this gonna go on for? If you have something to say, then out with it. Yes, I win! <laughs> I'm just worried how you're earn your keep now. I'm just wondering how I'll earn my keep now. <laughs> yeah, my keep. What? I thought you adventurers had any number of way to earn coin. And when the science m mode of operation changed, we should be compensated as before. Oh, and though the science mode of operation has changed, we should be compensated as before. What if we're not Astinian? In any case, I do not want for options, even if some are worse than others. No sooner did Amrik hear of our disbandment than he offered me position as guardsman in the Imperian district. As a former Azura Dragoon, I'm guaranteed to be popular, he said. <laughs> Who does he take me for? Even without his meddling, I'm perfectly capable of finding employment and have. What are you going to do instead, then? Some days ago, a Hanish envoy arrived with word from Vertra. The worm requests my presence as soon as things have settled here. Oh. He didn't deem to mention why I'm needed, but it pertains but it pertains to dragons like us not. In Thavnir, like elsewhere, the phenomena caused by the final days abated when he defeated Medion. Though it was too late for those who had already transformed, life is beginning to return to normal for the survivors. Of those who sought refuge in Charlian, most have already returned home. But many do not have a home to return to, nor loved ones. By an arrangement between Vertra and the Forum, such souls may remain in Charlian if they wish to work and study. Vertra was always the satrap in truth. It's gratifying to see him become one in name as well. One who has the complete confidence of his people, if the envoy's tone was any indication. Hmm. I, al I often find myself speaking favorably of dragons of late. Not so long ago, I would have assumed his benevolence hid ulterior motives, but it's clear he cares for his people, and they in turn revere him. To know such a nation may flourish is comforting. Virtuous kin sought release from conflict. So weary were they of the suffering it wrought, they surrendered it to oblivion. But Midgard Summer didn't give up. In hope, he made the journey to a distance, a theorist with his clutch of eggs. And though his progeny went on to be embroiled in conflict with men, there were times when they rescinded, tr transcended hatred to abide in harmony. That is their legacy and their triumph. In my lance, I feel the weight of their struggle and the strength of their resolve, and it lends me strength. These things I might never have learned had I not joined you. Should you ever have need of me, I will come. At the very least, it might be an opportunity to earn coin. <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself now? Word has it a false deity born in the Tower of Zot has survived and occasionally appears to terrorize the locals. Oh. Those who vanquish the being and present proof and present proof in Rasa Hand will receive a handsome reward, though handsome isn't the word I would use to describe such outlandish garb. But while I'm in Thabnir, perhaps I will acquire a set to send at Amric in lieu of answer to his job offer. Let him stand guard thus attired and be the talk of Empyrean, if not all of Corthus. <laughs> uh, Tola. Oh, 
Oh, are we saying our farewells too? I hadn't at present planned on a journey of any great length. Not that I'm adverse to a moment or two of quiet reminiscence. In fact, there was something I'd been meaning to ask you. Something that has been in my thoughts since the last flames of the final days subsided. During our travels, we have witnessed more than a lifetime's worth of oddities and spectacles. More than can easily be recalled or remembered. And nestled amongst those memories are certain essential facts. The history of Aetherius and the ancients, glimpses of the Ea and of their culture and philosophy. Rather than simply hoard such treasures in my mind, I wonder if I should not be disseminating them in formal records for wider consumption. When needed, I have penned reports and prepared briefings, but ever have I balked at the idea of binding the subject of my studies in a book or tablet. Truth is given shape of interpretation. When we seek to capture it with our words, it is invariably molded to fit a narrative, no matter how well-intentioned the rendering. An event is described as sad, a summation which fails to express the emotional complexity, yet the words on the page is what endures, a pale shadow of reality. Throughout history, some have deliberately embellished the truth, but I believe many, if not most, deviations are the result of similar linguistic shortcomings, piling one upon the other until the end result is unrecognizable from its origin. Thus is why I feel writing an account in my own words would be akin to diluting fine wine with water. Yet when the... Yet even with the potential for corrupted meaning, I do of course realize the importance of keeping written record. Without them, my search for wisdom would be pain a painful affair indeed. But what say you on this matter? Should I take up the quill, reflect upon those experiences only we have shared, and seek to preserve them for posterity? Aye, let them be read and remembered. And A, it is enough to hold them in your memories. No, let them be read and remembered. Very well, I shall endeavor to pen what I can of the Ea, and the Ancients, and of so many other wonders. But I'm no scribe. It will be less a less polished work, and more of a reordering of scattered notes. Just do your best, Ishtola. In any case, I feel much better for having sought your opinion. Left to our own devices, we tend to overthink such things. I will otherwise return to following where my curiosity leads. After all, a safe method of travel to the first yet eludes me, and our venture into the great expanse has prompted an entirely new set of questions. Should you stumble into the unknown or struggle with some impenetrable mystery, know that I am at your beck and call. It never hurts to see things from a different perspective, and mine is rather different than most. <laughs> that is true. Lise came to visit the other day. She peppered me with questions about the lasting repercussions of the final days. I took the opportunity to explain our plan pans plans to disband, and she understood our reasoning immediately. Once a scion, always a scion, it would seem. She was eager to relieve, relive old times and remember old friends. Bittersweet memories, mayhaps, but from the look on her face, the joys outweighed the sorrows. I'm so glad the danger has passed. There was nothing I could do but pray for pray from here, so I was relieved to the point of tears when everyone made it back safely. I imagine we'll have more free time now, so I was thinking I'd study up on healing magic, that I could make myself more useful in the future. My first stop will be the Astrologicum in Ishgard to learn about Charlayan astrology. I must follow Otcher's lead and continue to hone my skills. I'm so glad I was able to be here this moment. You know, I considered continuing to follow in Hori's footsteps, but I've realized it's time I found my own way in life. Otherwise, I'll never be half the man my brother is. First things first, I'm going to head to Gridania to visit the Conjurer's Guild and the Archer's Guild. I will do my very best to brush up on my skills before I see you again. We may have accomplished our goals in putting it behind us, but my time with the science provided memories that will last me a lifetime. What bliss! To think I was blessed with the chance to experience such unbridled brotherly love. 
Ah, uh, but now that Asha has decided to set off without his dear brother, without the two of them together, I fear I might suffer withdrawal. Oh, Adar. Graha! Oh, Ari, might we have might you have a moment to talk? That's what I'm here for, Graha. With the science stepping away from the public eye, I've been left to consider what new endeavors I might pursue. After speaking with Kryle, I've decided I will be assisting her in rebuilding the students of Baldessian. Oh, cool. Not only am I indebted to Master Galuf for giving me a new home, but had our order never existed, I would have never set foot within the Crystal Tower. How different my life might have been. I would have never met you, never become caretaker of the tower, never become a scion. I feel like there was a lot that happened between you becoming caretaker of the tower and a scion. <laughs> You gave me the chance to do mu so much good, and I hope to continue to do so with the students. For an added benefit, new mysteries often find their way to our doorstep. Mysteries that could prove ideal for fulfilling our promise. To embark on a new adventure together, unlike any we've experienced before. Whenever you have time and incl inclination, my friend, I stand ready to accompany you unto the unknown. Do you recall the realm, realm of the Omicrons? When I asked if you thought I may someday be mentioned in your epic, I do remember that. Well, tis true that to earn a place at your side would be the stuff of dreams. In the end, nothing would give me greater joy than to stand with you in the here and now. It needn't be some grand endeavor. There needn't be a promise. Whenever adventure calls, I won't hesitate to invite you, and I hope you will do the same for me. Without a second thought, as long as you don't overexert yourself, yes. I know, I know. I can all but hear Lena and Beck Lug's voices each time you remind me. As much as we have already seen, there is still so much we haven't. Who knows? Perhaps that we will even encounter survivors of the Omicron somewhere out there. Mimi did already meet Omega. After all, given how they took to the stars, it isn't implausible that some found themselves far from home. And should we encounter a wayward traveler awaiting commands that will never come? I would bid them seek adventure with someone. And with that partner, find a new purpose, a new dream. Aww. For if Crystal can hold fast to dreams, why not Omicrons? Wherever your plans may lead, do not hesitate to send word. And should a commission of interest come my way, you will be the first to know. By the way, have you spoken with Feoul of late? Uh, no. Some days ago they appeared to me in a dream of the sleeping persuasion, that is. All is well in the first, they bade me tell you. When I asked why not tell, tell you themselves, they unleashed giant ravenous beavers upon me. Have you perchance done something to incur their ire? My bad on uh, clicking through that. Far too much blood has been spilled and far too many lives lost. Still, I'm glad I was able to do something to repay those who have shown me the path future. Not that our job is ever is over, of course. Far from it. There is much that remains to be done before true and lasting peace can be achieved. To that end, Hori and I mean to set off for Corvos. We expect that the tension between the Garleans and the Corvosi will only flare more with the Empire's fall. I still remember the day we sparred together as though it were yesterday. To think how far we have come since then. Even now, I have not abandoned my dream of besting you in single combat, of friendly nature, of course. Though I clearly do not hold a candle to the Warrior of Light at present. <clears throat> I shall continue to train diligently that one day you might consider me an equal. Alright, I think I covered everyone. 
Well, let me just check. I don't think anyone's going to be in here, but we'll just have a little quick look. We'll go check the other room, too. I almost hope that I run into the spirit of Minfilia down there. But I don't think that's possible. Not with Heidelin gone. Nobody's in yet. That's true. There shouldn't be anybody because they were all we're at all all waiting for um, Alpha now. But we'll check the rooms anyways. This would be awkward if what's his face was still here. I don't think it's part of the main MSQ for him to be gone. I'm pretty sure that was a optional quest. Unu Kalhai or whatever his name was. Spoken your fill, have you? If so, I'm thinking to send everyone off. Leave the leave with your permission then. Your attention, please. At risk of spoiling the mood, the time for a departure is upon us. In my capacity as your receptionist, I bid you all safe journeys. Till next we meet, be well. Oh, I get an Argos horn. Argos! Oh, yay! And a wind-up heroes? Oh. Yes, I do know who that is, I think. And then some orchestrian rolls. Okay. Oof. <laughs> Look at everybody go. I suppose we're off to Garlemald then. Though we ought to speak with Lord Emmerich first. If he's received word of any recent developments, we need to know. It would be prudent to purchase some warmer clothes at least. Mayhap we can pick up a few souvenirs for Eulis and the others while we're at it. What happened to your warmer clothes? They were so cute. And didn't Taru make them for you? What did you do with them? Where will you all be heading next? Dravania. There is a book I've been meaning to borrow from the Great Google Library. The Great Googly Googles? And I can think of at least one person who will be most displeased should I fail to visit before leaving. Ah, uh, yes. Master Matoya. We've no particular destination in mind, but we do intend to stop in Charlian before we set off. We had thought to ask after the Loperitz. I am curious as to how well those who chose to remain are adapting to their changed circumstances. Might we accompany you then? Raha and I were planning to return to the Baldessian Annex. Commissions have been piling up in our absence, and they must be dealt with ere we begin our work in earnest. Estinian, you will return to Rads at Hahn, will you not? Aye, for Vritra's benefit, though I've yet to hear the details. I may not stay long. I see. Then it is here the Scions at last part ways. Each to some far-flung corner of the realm. Where am I going, though? I'm gonna go home. Have a nap. Take a well-earned rest. Perhaps. But I believe one of our number, a rather important one at that, has yet to divulge her plans. Me. I hope I get the option to tell them I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> Quite right. Indeed. <laughs> Why are you all staring Fair at me? Point. So, what's next for our humble adventurer? What are my options? Do I get to give options? Median? Uh, 
and I just get to tell them whatever I want. Well, I told them that I'm going to have a nap. Median, where are you going? Is that Median? It doesn't have a... Th oh yeah, it does have the thing on their ankle. Median should become a scion. Fah! It's all over. Yet stand tall, my friend. Our journey will never end. Never, they say. Wow, that's a bold statement. <gasps> What's going on? This is in the past. The constancy of this place never ceases to amaze me. An ocean of souls, shimmering and eternal. Who is this? Is this a Zem? Maybe? I don't know who else it would be. Oh, and Ray yet, Something stirs. Yes. Steeped in darkness. Deep as starless night. The beast hungers. The raid takes place in the past? Who else wore a white robe? Um Elidibus? Oh that did kinda sound like Elidibus, didn't it? Alas. I dare not investigate in earnest before the coming of my guiding star. As she foretold. I mean, is it Elidibus or something else? Because somebody else, I got nothing. That's all I got. <laughs> we shall descend to the depths, you and I, to confront the dread beast pandemonium. Yeah, but you gotta oh, wait. The sights we shall see. Find it, sure. The sights we shall see. Well, I'm cool with more adventures in the past. I don't understand how we're getting back there. I mean, I know in theory I could just teleport there wherever, whenever I want, but like, <laughs> lore wise, I don't understand. You have completed the main scenario quest, Endwalker. Quests to unlock new content have now become available in old Charlan. Additionally, you may now enter the Dread Ends. Wow. Oh, it's been that long, huh? <laughs> I couldn't enter it before. Rest well, champion of Aetherus, for many and more adventures await you. How nice. So, where are they leaving me? I'm outside Revenant's Toll. I'm kind of curious, where's the next quest going to be? I really hope it doesn't start outside the Rising Stones, because that's, that's just going to be awkward. It's going to be like five bajillion people standing right here. Welp. I did it. I finished 6.0. Um, Technically, I was going to go until 5, but it's already a little bit after four and I think I don't really want to get started on anything the only thing I really want to do is to finish up the quests um, back in Elpis but honestly that was just a lot of dialogue um, that my throat's getting a little tired of talking anyway so I think I might just call it call it a night well I'll call it a stream here I am planning on coming back tonight. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get on. Maybe I'll get in a little, if I end up getting in a little bit early, I might start my stream a little bit early, unlike I did yesterday. Um, get some rest. I've gotten plenty of rest. I I mean, it took me much longer to clear to finish this than, than you guys. I've, I've paced myself, don't worry. Don't worry, I haven't overexerted myself. It's just been regular, regular work days for me. Just instead of working, I spend my time playing Final Fantasy, so, uh, yeah, but yeah, I'm gonna hop off, let me teleport back to the free company, um, I will be streaming tonight, I won't, it won't be, um, spoiler free, so we can talk about stuff if you guys want to, um, apparently I'm really bad at not doing spoilery stuff, <laughs> not talking about spoilery stuff, so, 
we won't call it a spoiler free spoiler free stream um and yeah so until probably tonight ish around the seven I hope you guys have a good rest of your uh, Friday afternoon slash early evening and enjoy Endwalker and I will see you guys tonight. Bye.